Why is my mouse on stream? Time for more of the new Archon quest, I suppose. How exciting. <sighs> right. Let's get to it. Just gotta do a couple of a couple of dailies. Over and talk to Mavoka and what was it? Today? What's the new thing? It's Oh right, Sayu and a code. Ah, we got Colors of Dye. Painting eyes. Ah, so it's painting related. Interesting. I should go and read a bunch of those letters sometime. Hmm. Maybe. Let me. Got our expedition reward as well. Cool. And there we go. I do wonder if I should try to put more cold stuff nearby. Another bowl of ice or something. I don't know. Okay. Also, the Tepetlosaurus one. I wonder what the achievement from that is going to be. Probably feeding the Tepetlosaurus all three kinds of plants, I would imagine. I don't know. And, uh, there is that, and there we go. Mess that up slightly. Okay. That's fine. Hard for me to find where it was for a second. There we go. Let's break that one, and... Thank you. Luckily, oh, that still hit me though. Okay. And right. Thank you. And hit. Thanks. One, two, three, and shoot. And there we go. And shoot. Come on. And there we are. Really do enjoy Kinesha's gameplay. Very single target focus, but still a lot of fun. Do you like how we've got little challenges here as part of the daily lineup? Alright. And let's go in. Wood zip won't do much there. You know, I wonder. Is there never any enemies around? I wonder how they could even test that. Probably private server shenanigans. How whether the little bite here actually does a damage. Because those full light targets can also be broken by normal actual attacks. And stuff like Yumkasaur aerials or Kinich. Plenty aerial vertical spin attacks. But I wonder if they have some other subroutine to check for shark bites during a full light challenge that wouldn't actually normally do a real damage, quote unquote. I don't know. Who knows? Hmm, there we go. Thank you. Do you wonder where the other trainers are? Hmm. I know that there are other challenge options around. I feel like I should check Bubble by the Stadium of the Sacred Flame because a bubble over here spawned another secret Koholosaur challenge. Today they have teachings of conflict, conflict books. Also would be good for get this for Chaska. Alright, thank you. Put it over there and right, not far away enough to actually get Oh you. Oh well. Alright, and come on. Come on. Mm. Okay. Cool, I guess. And we shoot or not, I've missed entirely. And there we go. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. It's got its weaknesses. And and last one is of course trimming the baby. Cool. All the way over by the stadium. Oh that's right, I still need to find Oron's cabbage, or radish patch. 
Or so we could trim the little baby dragon. Oh, but wait. It's not showing up because of focus experience mode. Yeah, okay. Cool. It's interesting, I suppose. Go over here and trim the baby. Oh well. Can we go running off again? Okay, horror, roar, horror's been such a good boy today. We've seen this many times before. Okay, many times before, uh. And. Cool. Let's trim the claws. Wait for the routine. And. Roar, roar. Very this well behaved. Won't need to chase him around the entire trap today, so I couldn't help you. Happy. Give me back with a big brush. Back horn. Towel. Back horn body. Okay, cool. Alright. Back horn body. And go for the back. And horn. And towel. Okay. Now we can trim. Cool. And that should mean I should get an option to give. I did Chingzins and Lavender Melons, so I think it's Cecilia's will be the next plant for his feed. Maybe. Okay, cool. Nice, nice. Goodbye. Okay. And there we go. Oh, and that's seven for you now. That also means that the main quest is accessible again now. Right. Yep. And... Hmm. Guess I could do a couple of... Runs of the talent domain, or at least condense some resin. That's fine. Cool. Go over like this. Lots and lots of crystal cores. Hmm. Then, of course, we collect today's rewards. Yeah, I do have enough now to guarantee Jaska, even in the worst possible case. Which is nice, I suppose. Yeah. Let's see what happens. How much I care. Down here, there's a bubble, so I wonder if teleporting to go in the speaker's chamber, I imagine. Yeah. And I told Mavuka about the captain's intentions beneath the secret source. After several twists and turns, you finally understand the captain's plan and goal to reconstruct the ley lines. It seems to you a risky endeavor, one for which countermeasures must be discussed with Mavuka post haste. But, first I wanted to see what's in that bubble. Yep, because it's not going to start until we go in and... Oh! Cop car outside. Oops. Hmm. Do you want to check around here? See what's in the bubble that was in this general vicinity. More of the flowers that I gathered for Sheelan in before. Alright. Hmm. Over that way. And yeah, bubble right there. Let's see what this is, if anything. And there another bubble or I I'm not sure that did anything. Honestly. Well, alright. Thanks. And let's just keep on shooting. And thank you. Shot. And another shot. Okay. Oh, but of course we got you. Said using the flame granite so I just vaporize, which is nice. I nothing behind here, right? Scrapple up to there and see if there's another bubble. Okay, there are a few more bubbles. Let's actually just try to boil these up. And that didn't quite work. Right, and a frog was in there, it seems. And one more. Oh, so that would be 
something I'd shoot down with a flame grant, presumably. Okay. Thank you. And... That... Oh, yep, you can see. It actually did spawn the gravel point in, and... Guess, yep, it's just that. A rocket was from there, which we could have gotten by just... Jumping down, too, but... Got a sigil there now. For those that may concern. Okay. So I suppose then it's time to just talk to Mavica about Capitano's Capipano. Cool. Time for war. Cool. Rainbow destined to burn. Mavica, all oh, right, because we're still Stolly. Cowboy Paimon, Satoli, and Satoli, basically. Perfect timing, I've located the captain. Really? That's great. We also just took a peek at Oron's memories and discovered something huge. She already know about that, or... Oh, oh, oh this granny's permission, of course, or no, actually it was. Well, stop talking before you incriminate yourself further. Calm down, Paimon, I'll take it from here. I'll explain from here. So... It's going to be the start. It's showing... The Hall of the Tatanka Sword. The Hall of the Nightwind Banner. That could have been interestingly symbolic. So the captain was searching for the source mechanism to reconstruct the ley lines. If his plan is already in motion, that means he knows exactly how to accomplish his goal. We have to stop him. Is reconstructing the ley lines a bad thing? Yes, it's not a simple fix. It would mean sacrificing nearly anything, everything contained within the current ley lines, very similar to the price of using a gnosis. If he activates the mechanism, it's all over. We need to mobilize our forces as soon as possible. But what forces do we have? Kinu, Shunen, you two, and myself. All other warriors are working to push back the abyss on the front lines. But that's barely any people. Not to mention, you lost your power, and they've got the captain on their side. Maybe we really should get Satoli to break Oron's legs. Goodness. You two. Satoli's not counted. <laughs> that won't help us with the captain, I'm afraid. In any case, the Masters of the Nightwind are in urgent need of manpower. Satoli, I was hoping you'd head back and help defend the tribe. All right, I understand where I'm needed. I'll head out right away. Don't worry about your grandson. We'll figure something out for sure. I'll leave him to you all then. Mm. All right, back to the matter at hand. I don't believe defeating the captain needs to be our ultimate goal. Let me grab Shunen and Kinich, then I'll tell you my idea. Convince him to help. And... Yep, oh, and that brings them in. That's That was a fun job, cut. As you all know, Oron is working with the captain, and we need to stop their plan. The captain is a formidable opponent, but that shouldn't deter us. In any case, a head-on confrontation isn't the best way to solve the issue. I mean, less manpower to fight the abyss. Their plan hinges entirely on a single element, the source mechanism. If we leverage our forces, we can destroy it, and then success is ours. We'll head out together, in the event that a confrontation becomes inevitable, I'll stall the captain while you advance. No, you're a leader and you've lost your power, you shouldn't be the one to face the captain. I agree with Kinich, the two of us can handle it. Interesting. Listen to my plan first, Kinich, I want you and Ahau to launch an assault from the front and break through the three defenses. The captain won't be on the front lines, the seasoned warrior will be stationed in close proximity to the device to ensure its protection. So you want us to lure him to the front? No, the purpose of the frontal assault is to gather the two forces in one place. That way it's easier for the rest of us to avoid them. Shunen, I need you to do what your tribe does best. Dig a tunnel from the outskirts of the ruin. Once you get close to the device, we just need to destroy it. So basically, she's a dwarf. Kodama. Children of Echoes. So Shunen is launching the main assault. Exactly, Trevor and I will join you as well. No one created a distraction better than Kinich, not even myself. By combining our strengths, we might just match up through the captain's defenses. Leave it to me. Understood, then we should head out now. So promise us you won't do anything reckless, you cannot face the captain straight on unless you have no other choice. You mean everything to us, losing you would be the worst possible outcome. I'll also try my best to not let things get to that point. Ichiban Yabai. The worst. Thank you, everyone. You have my word. I'll proceed with caution. 
And there we go. The Rainbow Destined to Burn started, Chapter 5, Act 4. Check the quest menu for more details. Head to the entrance of the remnants of the secret source. Okay. That would be... Over there. Oh, and it's even by... That secret source automaton, which is interesting. Let's teleport straight there. And, let's see. Alright, this is the place. Their tunnel must be behind that gathering of the tree guards. Any of the nearby mountains could be a good infiltration point. Oh, and she's got some Tepoosaurus warriors with her, but if we want to stay under the radar, we should approach from the side. So agreed, Aho and I will handle things at the front. There are only a few Fatui stationed on the perimeter. We should take care of them first. This. So they can't alert anyone. And defeat the Fatui on patrol nearby. Oh, and that's interesting. You can see. Aho. Out in the open world. Well, as in, yep, he shows up as an object under elemental sight, too. Some Yumkasaurus warriors and Fatui. What if I go over here? Nothing? Oh, okay. As long, if you get close, it teleports you over. Dot, dot, dot. Solnev. If they don't get too close, he's just handling things over there. Ah, uh, okay. It's the ones on patrol nearby instead of... Oh, okay. Those ones. So we can sneak around behind. Okay. And I would imagine that letting her climb up would be a good way to do that. And this is... What's going on there? This is... Interesting. Oh, you just had to stand on top of it. It's normally the only way you'd be able to climb on would be via... A Children of Echoes character anyway. Okay, well... If he had some artifacts as somebody's set. Again, I think we're using Hazo now. As our artifact eater. Decent enough BV set. Still, I do need to clear out the inventory soon. Right. And... What does this send me up to? Not all that much. Some part of the mountain with a Yumkasaur, but... Nothing all that complicated, and an animo slime over there for some reason. Okay. Huh? Was interesting finding those solid figures and planks just sitting around. Alright. Oh well. And one, two, shoot. And shoot. Thank you. And on the way. But we got. That. Actually, I meant to avoid that, but capture photos. All right, that's done. Let's head to the foot of the mountain. Suitable location. Open a passageway. The batch of photos you got from the Fatui that clearly shows the structure of the remnants of the secret source in this place. This picture shows a special mechanism with a very noteworthy shape. And oh, dragon head mechanism. What is this? Mortal Kombat. And yep, yep, yep. Still the same. We're we gonna start digging now. Maybe. What do you think, Shuonin? Is this a good spot? Kesoka. Looks good. We'll take it from here. Keeping as quiet as possible, tribes who from the Children of Echoes make quick work of digging a tunnel. It's interesting that you get to see the front entrance guarded by the Petua, and it's even got one of these vortices, but you don't get to use it. To attack, I can see the inside. It's just for flavor. Perfect, we'll keep going. The rest of you should head back. Things are about to get dangerous. Alright, please take care. And enter the remnants of the secret source. A dragon ruin from antiquity. Within it are large, hidden large devices that can affect the ley lines. You must make every second count. The Captain Orwin's radical plan is to be stopped. Okay, so Geo would be a decent enough option here then. Hmm. I'll break those geo shields. Proceed deeper into the remnants of the secret source. Presumably that would be our entrance. The Fatui wouldn't concentrate all their forces in one place. There should be guards on the inside, so stay sharp. 
Okay. Ah, here we are. Oh, nice job smashing those rocks, Mob. Okay, you look super cool. With some expert level rock coin, even by my front standards. So clearly it's events that are being alluded to. Breaking some of the way in. Okay. And one of these big mechanisms that are very plainly more dragon than human sized. Okay. That must be the Fitui tunnel over there. We should steer clear and approach from the side. Feel like a Pugistan crystal. Hmm. That. Aww. I wonder what would happen if I went down and just tried fighting. Or. What the reaction would be. I love a good fight. Oh well. Yep. Let's go ahead and take him out. And we can keep moving and shoot. Keep on shooting. I. Right. There we go. I. Right. See our way of that. And shoot. 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 I. Right. Oh goodness. Luckily, we can just immediately break that down. Come on. Come on. And there we are. Cool. Cool. And shoot. There we go. But it seems that. Even after taking them out, we've still got to go around that way. That's okay. Mm -hmm. More of this. Just radishes and apples. I wonder if any of those are from Ororoon, then. We really got to sneak around to there, and yet... I don't imagine that after this little quest domain, there were going to be a lot of artifacts going into the inventory, but again, I should have cleared stuff out. Okay. Need to reduce my consumption. Okay. There we go. Get back up there. Can I climb this? I. Let me see. Not really. Hmm. Okay. Let me grapple my way up here, back up topside. Yeah, I... okay. Oops. That didn't work quite well. Quite as well as I expected. And... Thank you. Let's wait and try that again. wonder how it gets some of that Phlegiston back. Like a bit like keyholes, but not precisely. That was fun. Diagonal aspect of that movement is real nice. That would be our route to retreat then, presumably. Yeah, if we took a more straightforward approach, we could just grapple up there. Okay. But clearly, opening that gate is going to require getting over here. Or not. Oh, maybe it'll loop back around. Either way, I imagine that that fight was more or less completely optional. Be nice if we'd gotten some kind of reward from it, but it is what it is. It's getting kind of purple in here. Okay. Thank you, and I... Alright. Thanks. And where is... Where is you? Where are you? Thank you. I... Okay. Thanks. I guess. And shoot. And hit. And one, two, and... Thank you. Now we just gotta figure out how to... Destroy your shield. That's more than good enough. Thank you. And you burning now? Yep, now you're burning. Thanks. Shoot. And one more. There we go. Try to decipher the mystic arts behind the lock mechanism. Healing will be needed shortly. Okay. Full blade. And... Suppose that's alright. More cabbages. Thing under elemental sight? Not really. What kind of mechanism? And is this? You know, the one we need is one that looks like a dragon. The spell is from the Master of the Nightwind. It's Orvin's doing. They're probably trying to buy time. Just gonna punch it or something. Some ability to dispel, it seems. Kind of like a Thor hammer shape, honestly. Rotate the device to complete the image and open the path. And... Okay, that was just a switch that Mavlika had to manipulate. 
because of presumably her flood gets in powers and oh here it is these wheels are relics from ancient times we should try to restore them this mechanisms probably control that wheel right let's give them a try oh but we're gonna have to take out that secret source mechanism to get one of them working then interesting and uh, so we need that photo then so the second innermost wheel let's see Second innermost wheel. Hmm. The top? Is it gonna lock in place or something? That. Oh, view hint. Okay. And. Can stop in pretty much any position, which is interesting. Check that and. More or less. Like. This, yeah, that's, yep, oh, and it locked into place. Interesting, okay. This is another door of some sort, so I wonder how many of those will open, if any. Hmm. This, that one's rotating. And, there we go. Not quite. And, there we are. Need the final one down there by that secret source mechanism. Okay. Oh well. Hello there. And you know what? Let's just stick around like this. And... There we go. Actually, not quite. Now we'll get you in position to blast and... Uh, why am I stuck? That is less than pleasant. Okay. And... Okay, never mind. One, two, three. Right, I... Yeah, it's really strong. That's honestly kind of curious. One, two, three. And we'll hit you down. And... One, two, three. Yep, there we go. Shred that raz. Okay. Final one. Let's see which is the right... Spot, it's honestly kind of hard to tell. Yep, there we go. Lucky us. And how many of those are going to open? That one's opening. But not the mechanism itself, interestingly. Let me... What if I go back here? Clearly we're just trying to get around the other side of that group of Fatui, but... Thank you. Open up this chest. It's been three already. Wonder how many more there might be, if any. Hmm. Yeah, wonder how many more chests there'll be in this entire quest. Right. Get that. Put that through. Let's see. Really, really should have cleared out that inventory. We got two or so spots now. Here we are. Stop the Captain Oron. So I guess some parts of their domain just aren't meant to be accessible. That's fair. And you can see him over there. Are we gonna have to fight in any sort of sense? Maybe some Fatui summoned? Let's just heal up briefly, just in case. A real nice healing. A real nice healing. And we get eight or so ticks, if I recall correctly. Yep, so we use all of our ticks pretty well, and there's that secret source mechanism that we're gonna have to... Well, basically, this must be Kokoa. We're here, and there they are. The captain's here too, perfect. Looks like they focus their defenses over there. They're here. Parikitana. Oh, I thought the Power Archon would choose a frontal assault. It doesn't matter, they're too late anyway. Oh? Yamero, still? It's too late, mo osoi. You're already slow. And we need to turn it off. There's still time. He's gonna illusion us or I won't let you do this. Question mark, question mark, question mark, dash, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Huh? That's the Twali interference or what? The sound of lament. Oh, probably reaction from the souls in the ley lines. 
What was that sound? It was like a piercing cry. That's our chance to turn off the device. So close, we need to approach from the side and lure the captain away. What's going on with him? Oh, it's probably the fractured souls or aura. How did he just... Dot, 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 exclamation mark. His movements have gotten a lot faster. Was Oron always this good in battle? It's the effect of the souls, presumably. Mm -hmm. Shuen in. This ends now. Oh, oh, he was probably being taken over by the souls and the ley lines. Huh? Something's wrong. The captain helped Shuen in. Why? Because this is external interference. Dot, dot, dot. Me when I get possessed by the souls of the dead. Dot dot dot, you gonna do another? You are not Oron, who are you? Yep, exactly. Spirit cleansing, or... What's the name of that again? Soul fairing, soul fairying, right. What? Commander? Oh, right, it's the souls of his soldiers. You? Oh? So you still recognize me, Commander? I'm going Right, someone else's voice. Although I believe you have some more pressing concerns at the moment. Right, right, that... The souls of his fallen soldiers are still loyal to him. Now? And we're turning it off. We did it? Yes, we stopped it. You see, you indulge your sense of honor for just a moment, now you've lost your chance. Even now, you're still the same as ever. More blazing. His voice is completely different. Is is someone inhabiting Oron's body? Stop worrying about other people's survival, about their losses and sacrifices. You just need to win. This must be why we for this moment. Please finish what you've set out to do, Commander. Not ca not Captain Taicho, but Shokan Commander. Interesting. Because that's a different title for a different role. Da, da, da. I didn't expect to see you here, but I have to disagree. Banning one's comrades is not the way of a warrior. Why do you care about a doomed man? I know you can see it, he's already close to death. After all, his soul has been incomplete from the start. Hmm. This? What are we gonna see here? Vision into the soul of the warrior, or? Ah, so he's sort of trapped inside his own body now. Someone said I'm close to death. Is it because of that noise just now? The piercing cry that came from underground when I activated the device. It's down there. Now one's ley lines must be hiding some kind of secret. <clears throat> Interesting. Ah, am I dying? No, it's too soon. It's parents, Kuna, uh, or when it's you, what it would be today. Why the long face? Don't tell me you still haven't let that go. I knew it was a bad idea to tell you about it. Child sacrifice kind of thing. I heard everything everyone wanted me to be the savior. Savior? Huh, sounds nice, doesn't it? But does such a person truly exist? Even if they do, why would you have to become that person? Oron, is that you? Do you have a seat? Creamy, let Granny cut you some fruit. We just got a fresh batch. Can I get you anything else? Some grilled meatloaf, maybe. I would never eat meatloaf. That's for anything you want. We've got plenty of ingredients. Shokuzai. What about those spice from mushrooms you made last time? Granny Kuimi. Ah, you like those. Did you? An outlander taught me that recipe. Actually, a merchant to be exact. Probably. Not the no yori janai. It's not in that one cuisine. Oh, but they have this volcano cake that we presumably don't have a recipe for yet. Ever thought about going to business yourself? My boy, you could travel all over. Our Oron, a merchant, he's far too honest for that line of work. Thought we said an honest merchant like him wouldn't pray old timers like us. Da da da. Everyone said a true savior does not really exist, but then why did my birth open the door to the possibility? I give people false hope. Maybe I don't have to sacrifice myself, but truly everyone is born for a purpose, so what's mine? If I had succeeded back then, would the world have become a better place? What's the meaning of my existence? Hmm. Done spacing out Oron, did you finish your homework? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Granny, it's just well, learning all this really make me as strong as you. Well, no, but... Huh, of course not, I'm a special case. Other shamans study their whole lives without reaching a fraction of my abilities. Because you're a genius, right? 
You could say that. Oh, or maybe I've just been alive longer than the rest of them and picked up a few fruits that they didn't want to touch. Probably some sort of life force draining thing, maybe, that she can use because she's immortal, kind of like the whole Baiju pact. Huh, that's rude to bring up a woman's age. Never do that again, no matter the circumstances. Honestly, I, I feel like a... I would not be surprised if it's Satwali Travel Chronicle or maybe a Baiju Story Quest Part 2 brought up Baiju again in Na'an because at the end of Baiju Story Quest mentioned that the funny zombie guy was going to Na'an for some reason. Oh, I wasn't the one who brought it up. Any of my classes canceled tomorrow, go have fun. What about my homework then? Do what you want, but use is it being as strong as me anyway. It's showing all this sort of guilt and discomfort that everyone has around Orom because, well, they tried to sacrifice him. You've seen how the tribe treats me, they're all afraid. I try to go about my business and they practically tremble in fear. Not the most fun way to go about living this life, I'd say. Take it from me, the happiest people are ones who do their own thing, so do what you want Orom, no matter what anyone else has to say. The thing you yourself want to do. Granny didn't say it outright, but I think she was trying to comfort me. Don't force yourself, don't beat yourself about the past. That's what she always says. But I never forced myself. Never even got the chance to try before it was all over. Yifa? Why are you drilling out over here out over here again? There's such a thing as overwatering the radishes, you know. Still don't have a sight of him yet. I was just looking at the aphids, right, taking care of the bugs, too. Something interesting about them today. I noticed some on the ground. Maybe it got too cold yesterday and they couldn't handle it. Dead bugs. Oh, okay, and this is where we get the little cutout. Guess he was in this little weird ball-shaped tent. People are saying he'd be like Steve Irwin. He definitely does have a bit of a cowboy look to him. I guess he's kind of, I guess, Australian Aboriginal or something. Who knows? Bummer, I guess that means less honey this year. Bogus and honey. Ifa, do you think being a vet is fun? Fun? I'm not sure about that. Do you think planting vegetables is fun? Fun enough, I guess. I don't have anything else to do. Exactly. Most people would like that. No special purpose or calling. It's just how the world works. Hmm. Oh, he's that troublemaker's at it again. Or, my man, come inside and give me a hand, would you? This is a bit like the Kukasaur wings, and if I recall correctly, Ifa is supposed to be Flower Feather. Whether he's Anima or Pyro, we don't know yet. Or something else entirely. Why should I? I thought being a vet was no fun. Well, I guess there was a fun part trying to outsmart these rascals. Come on, give me a hand. If the Ifa was just too nice to tell me the truth, that attempting something above your capabilities will kill you. But I guess he probably feels that he should have died some years ago anyway. My soul is unstable, I only survived because I had people to help keep me in one piece, like Satoli. A part of me has always been missing, that's why the other spirits said I was close to death, but... Why well, struggle, Guthred? It's a miracle you were even born, just close your eyes and wait for death. Oh... Back during the sacrifice, or? But. Why does he look Conrian? Maybe, presumably, that's the soldier taking over his body, trying to take it permanently? It was you? Yep. Is that guy the thing that came out of nowhere? Think I'm a warrior. Or stronger than a weakling like you. Not weak, there's just a limit to what I can do. I'm interested. I like that. And that's exactly why her fantasy is so ridiculous. You really think a useless thing like you can save the world? Useless? Save yours? Has some sense, doesn't it? But does such a person truly exist? Even if they do, what would you have to become that person? Exactly, most people would like that. No special purpose or calling. It's just how the world works. Take it from me, the happiest people are the ones who do their own thing, so do what you want, Orwell, no matter what anyone else has to say. But I don't want things to end here. Orwell, it's alright, we'll take things from here, Dajer. Every time they marched to battle, I had to stay behind. 
Don't worry with the Oricon on our side, this isn't stand a chance. Presumably they died. All the best warriors are fighting on the front lines, I want to do my part too. Both of us are bound to disappear, but your end will come sooner than mine because you've been broken from the start. Mm. Hayakushi no, you'll die quickly. Once your soul shatters into pieces and dissipates to the wind, I will take temporary control over this body. I will serve my commander until the end. I've already taken on his appearance. The Nightwind? Oh no, this isn't right, my life can't end like this. I still haven't done anything important with my life. Honestly, as dumb as it might sound, even though he's a pretty big focus of the quest, I honestly feel like being a four-star suits him more, because being weak is kind of part of the point of his character. <laughs> and he's, he's still going to be a great four-star, but still. My end will not come first, and I'm not giving up here. I can't die here. No, I won't die here. Horon, Horon. That voice. Control your mind, feel the ground beneath your feet. This is not your end. Da da da. Reach for the light. Mavika being. It's interesting how this is very similar to the end of the Night Kingdom track in Last Patch's Quest. Mokuwa. I. It's interesting how Mavika constantly is a symbol of light. Works well with the sort of sun motifs in her outfit and everything really. His eyes are open, he's alive. Also, I imagine that the big sun wheel behind her Archon statue is probably at least somewhat foreshadowing a motorcycle. Two of those that she rides on. Oh, and a Sealy here. His eyes are opening his alive. Well done, you man should do the impossible. What do you mean? Don't try to talk. Focus on holding yourself together. Oh. Da -da -da. Can't believe the captain did that. Maybe he thinks of Oro as a comrade. He was helping to rein him in all this time. It's the only reason I had the chance to turn off the device. I'm fine now. Damage to the soul is a tricky thing. The pain almost consumed you for a moment, but he managed to hold on to yourself. It's no easy feat. The worst appears to be over. It's already alright. I'm sorry for causing so much trouble. We can talk about that later. Our planet failed, didn't it? Mm, silence. I'm sorry we were so close. You saved my life and now the debt is repaid. Ah. Orona, I never thought you actually wanted to sacrifice in that ceremony. But you never gave up. Have you come to a conclusion on what it is that you truly want? I just want an answer or reason why I exist and why everyone always did so much for me. No one is born a hero and no one should be treated like one from birth. I had a chance to do something important back then, but I failed. All I want is to find some more ways to make up for that. The answer you seek now lies before you. Fight in defense of not one. Oh no, there's the ancient name. Uh huh. And that B R Y or but why is it going into the mechanism? Sanhaj. Oh, right. You are the inheritor of my name, the hero from the Masters of Nightwind, who shall fight for this generation. Same music as when Tupac showed up for Milani. Uh, yeah, because we had Tupac and Sanhaj. Guess the question is, who will inherit the name of Tenok, maybe? I'm still a Sealy here. So, whenever the heroes show up, the Sealies aren't far behind. So I wonder if the Sealies are the souls of the heroes, or... That's Sanhaj. Sanhaj Kampore mentioned in the Talking Sick description. Apparently next patch there's going to be an Iktomasaur local legend, which makes me happy because it means being able to grind story and teeth more easily without having to jump around with an actual interesting fight. 
And his Sorin was named Mahamba, so I wonder if the local legend is just going to be Mahamba, considering that the other two, up two of the other Sorin companions, Kongamato and Nagobo, are already world bosses. If I would have gotten an Electro boss, and with that source constructor, so presumably that Tatanka Sor is either going to be a local legend or just a dead, maybe. I don't know. Maybe there will be two Electro bosses. Fascinating, you're not the person the others thought you were, and yet, you're also not the kind of person that you thought you were. It can take a lifetime to truly discover who we really are. Seems that he's got a bow, which is interesting, given that Oron's also a bow character. Especially since, on the wiki, Tupac seems to have this big axe. Maybe a hammer? And his weapon. Sort of a Maui type figure. And he has a giant hammer, but Tupac also has a weapon. One of his weapons is also that drinking horn. The Milani weapon from last patch. Well, the Milani event weapon. Like you, I never thought I had what it took to be a hero. I was too cunning, too self-absorbed, more of a storyteller. He was even mentioned in... Oh, the Children of Echoes quest from last patch. But in the end, I sacrificed my life for this nation. Chainbreaker. And that... Let me just see. It seems that Sanhaj has the Chainbreaker, actually. Which is... See? Holding... Sanhaja is actually Arabic. Interesting. Yeah, but he's holding... He's holding a chain breaker. The not one craftable bow. Now remember your name, even if others will see a different meaning. It still symbolizes your nobility and yearning. My ancient name, BD. So that's BDI, devotion. Interesting. Nobility and yearning. So, duty, I suppose. It means devotion. You will give your all not for the sake of a heroic death, but to do justice by the answer you found for your life. Holy crap, Godzilla minus one. <clears throat> B -D -I. But that answer will offer all of your strength and be born anew through your devotions will prove your worth. Having foretold his own death, the omniscient man holds a feast in celebration. Let us raise our cups in honor of his heroism and send him off with his final tribute. For at last his wish is now fulfilled. And you're gone. It's nice to see you again, Sunhaj. With your recognition, we now have the fifth hero of this era. Ah, now he's glowing in his night soul state. Fun. Hmm. And? I'm happy to see your point advance one step further. It seems that my cry did not cause irreversible damage. Three ceiling now. That would be... Renova. Her cry. <laughs> what is that voice? Just as I thought, the Lord of the Night is awakened. Yep. The God of the Night God's Kingdom. Renova. Well, probably. The Lord of the Night is in the one who rules over the Night Kingdom. Mentioned by that cat in the Chamber of Night's Trial. Presumably kind of... Taste Kotli Polka equivalent. Yoho Tekatin, I preside over a realm of souls due to my limited power. Sleep is the only way I can extend my existence. Probably using all that power to sustain the Night Kingdom. Draining her, so fixing the Night Kingdom would probably allow her to maybe manifest. Oho. Tek. It's in, and that... Okay. 
Set of nine deities, the Lord of the Night. Interesting. When you activated the device, I awoke and could not hold back my cry. It is a sound that agitates souls. Most of you were unaffected because your souls are intact. With a damaged soul, the effect on your friend was heightened and his soul was shattered as a result. And yet his soul remains in peace. Man should overcome this obstacle through sheer strength of will, truly embrace a feat for a human. So, is that what caused all the strange behavior earlier? No, an additional soul was affected. It tried to take refuge in the missing part of your friend's soul, but was ultimately expelled. <clears throat> However, the soul is not held for Nolan or the Night Kingdom. Its origins remain a mystery to me. Well, it's interesting that presumably... She can't really see Conria. Activating the source mechanism is supposed to reconstruct the ley lines. Why did it awaken you instead? Because she's basically in the way, sustaining the Night Kingdom as ley lines. Because I was one who originally constructed Nalan's ley lines, otherwise known as the Night Kingdom. The ancient battle between the Descender and the Dragon destroyed the corner of the world, allowing the Abyss to invade the corner of the world. Reminds me of the broken corner of the book in Simulanka. Notlin's Ley Lines took the worst of the damage. To aid the people of Notlin, the Lord of the Night used the fragments of the old Ley Lines to reconstruct a similar network. That's how the Night Kingdom was born. The first Pyroarch of Shibalanke strengthened that realm and established the rules that aid our fight against the Abyss. The Ode of Resurrection and the Pilgrimage, both of which are practices that survive to this day. Alright, you said before it all came from the power of the heavens. The ancient dragons tried to use this device to strengthen the ley lines by imbuing them with power. Back then, this method was rather ineffective. They lacked the skills to navigate the intricate structure of the ley lines. Now, the structure of the ley lines has also completely changed. I'm the only possible vehicle for the power generated by the device. It was an incredibly crude and painful method, but I managed to absorb some of that power. Now I can speak to you like this and provide you with aid, so even if it was ill-informed, finding and using the mechanism ultimately did some good, such as rebuilding the oil lines once more at the cost of my own existence. Do we want to permit that? But why would you make that kind of sacrifice? The people of Notland worship me and call me their lord in the ancient past before we died out. We were also known by a different name, Angels. So does that mean that she's ashamed or not? But adventurers like you are probably more familiar with their devolved form. Seelies, yep. Seelies are angels. That's why. Okay. Wonder what that implies about Columbina then. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if there are seaways around here, as Seaway also helped us in the Night Kingdom. Tenosuke. Bit more archaic than Tenshi. Another reading the same characters. The angels remain in Notland, so the same is true of Seaways. Everyone rallied around me and offered the power to humanity to reconstruct the ley lines. Now I have witnessed your determined pursuit for survival, and I've become your faith. I'm very pleased. Mavika inherited Shablanka's will and leader of Natlan. Despite all the obstacles and misunderstandings, I've awoken in the efforts of this harbinger and the young hero imbued me with power. Say the word and I will once again work to fulfill my mandate, just as I did thousands of years ago. But are we going to say no? You need only nod your head for the sake of your people and your nation. For the sake of overcoming the invasion from the abyss, give me your orders. I will not. Well, or after reconstructing New Wayland's, you will cease to exist. The rules of Nalan are founded in the Night Kingdom. If you disappear, so do they. Not to mention all the memories and legends recorded within the Wayland's will disappear along with you. 
People not alone will face memory loss, mental disorders, and cognitive issues. Just like the consequences of using gnosis that as a price I refuse to accept. Humanity's survival is worth any price. Once the abyss runs rampant, all that remains will be a land of corpses and ruin. And when the new Wayland's are invaded again by the abyss, what then? How are future generations supposed to survive? A land without the board of the night, without the protection of the rules, is doomed from the start. We presume too much. If you cannot ensure survival in the present, you have no right to think about the future. What will it take for you to realize that? How many hundreds or thousands will have to die? Hmm. The situation hasn't gotten that dire yet, has it? Why are you so pessimistic about the situation? Why? Because I'm a survivor of Conry. I've witnessed the devastation and terror of the abyss with my own eyes. So there is our information on his origin. Da da da, so I presume he didn't know already either. Kanria? Kanguya? That's right. My family, my comrades, my homeland. We're all lost to the abyss. Like the claws on his claws. It is an unforgettable pain, one that no amount of time could ever dull. Not even 500 years. You've experienced something similar, Malvika. You should know exactly what I mean. You're right, the pain, the regret, the catastrophe, they all haunt my dreams to this day. If I could go back, I would reject all false hope. I would do whatever it took to ensure their survival. Like how honorable they both are while still disagreeing, although that disagreement isn't going to last all that much longer. You have that chance before you now? Why do you refuse to take it? Any means necessary? Because we don't have the right to make that decision for everyone else. We love this world because it contains everything we hold dear. Everything that has happened here has moved us, shaped us, and turned us into who we are today. Giving up our memories and history would mean rewriting everything. The people of this world would then become fundamentally different beings. Their physical body is the only connection to their former dead selves, so they'd basically be dead already. Even so, given enough time, a new civilization would inevitably flourish if you believe in humanity. You should trust in their ability to create a new future. Or history could repeat itself, the abyss could invade once more, and it would all be for nothing. Stop fighting! Can I say something? I once carried the hopes of many people, and I was also desperate to save our nation. In the captain's plan, I saw a chance to ensure survival. But as I was on the brink of death, my wish for life and purpose was rekindled. I've been very fortunate to be well cared for by all the people of my life. I refuse to forget that. My feelings are so strong, they overrode my confusion to sacrifice myself for their safety. No matter what path lies before us, we still have a destination. If we lose our way now, we'll lose the meaning of our existence. That's right, not once heroes gave their lives so we could have this chance against the abyss. Sacrifice is our blessings. So we need to honor them. Not only are their deeds and spirits exceptionally meaningful, they may also well be our path to victory. I don't want to give up just yet. Hmm. Yeah, we're just one hero short. The power from the device will allow me to remain awake for some time. I stand at the ready should you change your mind. Even if you fail, you need only send someone my way, and my offer still stands. Humanity is truly remarkable. Even the gods in the heavens hold you to be special. Even now you stand before me, dazzling like the sun. You must have a profound connection to this land, since you're so determined to save it. But what are you really trying to protect, the land or its people? Hmm. Hmm. Da, da, da. Hmm. Pretty sure he wants to hear what you have to say, Traveler. I want to win. What about you? Hmm. Fine. I suppose we can wait now that Oron has inherited the memories of his forebearer. There's only one hero left. Your plan does have the potential to generate the best outcome. In the meantime, you shall have the aid of all the Batui under my command. It's, it's happening. It's happening. 
Thank you, having such a powerful harbinger on my side is a big advantage. Indomitable human spirit. I know we may never completely see eye to eye on what it means to protect life, but for now I'm willing to fight by your side. Fist bump? Handshake, or...? All right, we should let everyone else know about the plan. They're probably still at each other's throats outside. Good idea, we need to explain the situation. I have a few more questions for the Lord of the Night. I guess we'll stick around then. I'll update everyone outside, let's meet back up at the stadium. And... You gonna get answers, or...? That's over that way. Quest goal is in that one. Head there to continue the quest. These are... Oh, there's Seely. Grapple up, it's not like the move. Speak with the Lord of the Night. Optional. And let's see what you have to say. You come to me with many questions, and you should be rewarded for your bravery. Ask, and you shall have the knowledge you seek about the power of the heavens. Kohobi, a reward about the power of the heavens. They do not like being mentioned by name by any living being. Be it an ordinary human or one of the seven, they prefer to remain in the shadows as shades. Presumably, this is not Renova then? Mm -hmm. Or, the one you, one you wish to know about? I call her the ruler of death. Yeah, so Renova, probably. She helped not one establish the rules, it was also under her guidance that I created the Night Kingdom. So are there multiple words in the night, or... Renova is one of the demons of the Arj Geisha. Marquis or Earl of... Great Earl of Hell, commanding 20 legions of demons. He teaches art, rhetoric, languages, and gives good and loyal servants in the favor of friends and foes. He is depicted as a monster holding a staff without detailing his appearance. He is also described as taker of old souls, often coming to Earth to harvest souls of decrepit humans and animals near death. It was an expression of love as well as an act of reparation. She was seen as having significantly overstepped her authorities as a shade, which might displease the Almighty in the heavenly principles. So presumably they can't save the name Asmodee. Hmm. She succumbed to self-pity as a result and no longer cared if others discussed her identity. Even so, her existence remains unknown to all but a select few. Self-pity? Please don't tell anyone I use that word, I'm just trying to speak plainly to conserve energy. Come with many questions about the womb of fate. Not familiar with that concept, the device is capable of weaving and creating ley lines, you say. Even I cannot create something from nothing. I can only reconstruct the Leylands by reassembling the yet intact components into a new structure. <laughs> yet intact components. If that power were available to the people of that one, they might have a new option against the Abyss. Oh! So it might be an Abyss Order kind of thing in that... I have thought for a while that basically the ultimate goal of the Traveler is going to be to find a way to broker peace between Celestia and the Abyss somehow. About elemental energy in the Abyss, Fulgiston is primordial to that's primordial form of energy. Oh! So fire is the ultimate origin principle of the world. Very Heraclitus. The heavenly principles use Phlegiston as a basis for the creation of the elemental energy. Oh, to develop a power to better counter the abyss. So I guess Phlegiston then is maybe more light than element? Have you heard of the concepts of the light realm and the human realm? That explanation might take too long. Yep, that was in Three Realms Gateway Offering. That was almost three years ago. Light refracts in a seven different colors, which we collectively refer to as a rainbow. Rainbow destined to burn? And since the destinies of the elements are ultimately fire and Vulgiston. Elemental energy is a similar concept. It's essentially the modern counterpart of Vulgiston. So I suppose in that sense, why do we get six dragons using Vulgiston and not a seventh? You know, Animo. About my ancient name. 
So I guess maybe we get the, the sibling and use the womb of fate somehow, maybe? Not my ancient name. Oh, maybe it's the womb of fate gets used, Celestia wakes up, or starts to stir. And it's basically me go to Sneznaya to try to figure out how to fight them, maybe. Ah, uh, yes, yes, the artisan from the Children of Echoes is yet to mention the matter to me. Probably because the young girl from the Masters of the Night when is absent. Clunk says, well, yeah, young girl is funny. No matter, I'll reach out in a dream and tell them what needs to be done. Young girl, yeah. Sure, sure. What, did I say something wrong? Okay, no more questions, yep. So, Fulgiston isn't fire as much as undifferentiated, which is interesting. But also very draconic. But it also seems to contain its own equivalence of every element there. Womb of Fate. Another option from the Womb of Fate. That sounds like foreshadowing. And mention of Renova, but she's not Renova. No more questions. Interesting. Okay. So we did that. Please head to Tavat. There's our way out. Cool. But how far around can we go here? Let's see. And that is... That's not accessible. That's where it stops. Okay. Kinda. Interesting. Water in here, and now we're swimming on the invisible wall. Okay. Thank you. And we'll just roller skate back to the start. And there we go. We, before dawn breaks, and that's the end of that quest, go back to the stadium, and that's presumably when war breaks out. Ah, return to the speaker's chamber for a discussion. Can't go back in. So, well. Oh, we can talk to you. The captain says a group of us needs to stay behind and go on the source mechanism. It's extremely important as our backup plan. Stay here, of course. You're free to come and go as you please. But, can't actually go in. At least not now. I wonder if we'll go back or something. Oh well. It'd be fun if Nomo Kano was... Or the Tristar was relevant somehow. And yep, no extra chest there. Just... The three normally... I guess makes some sense, because... We leave normally instead of through a teleport, because they have to give us time to talk to Yohal Tekatin. This is where the tunnel was originally. You even see the vortex in there. Oh, and there's a grapple point to that, too. Huh. It's interesting. Turn to the speaker's chamber for a discussion. You witness the emergence of the fifth hero within the remnants of the secret source and temporary cooperation with the captain is established. Seems this matter is drawn to a close, and yet the abyss presses in. It's not time to relax just yet, as one we watch the setting sun. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break.
back. Okay. Time for war. Turn to the speaker's chamber for a discussion. Cool. Go back here. And there we are. Enter the speaker's chamber. <clears throat> and... In that case, allow me to formally welcome the victory to our cause. We now face a common enemy, it's time to put our differences behind us and look to the future. As for Oron, his actions may have been out of line, but I don't intend to punish him right now. I'd rather give him a chance to prove himself. A magnanimous decision. From back, well, seeing the two of you chatting like this, Pilot almost feels like she's dreaming. Strength in numbers, I feel better about our chances. This may be an unexpected outcome, but a fair one nonetheless. Now that we're all here, I have some questions of my own. Tell me, how did you discover the source mechanism? We weren't getting any closer to obtaining the Gnosis, so I had my mind scour not one for a different option. Oron helped as well. We tracked down through Snow's Aberewa, put some twin cooks stole. When combined the results of the research to locate this ancient device. Interesting, the ABC is also. Some people think it references the three toy soldier group. Group of three toy soldiers from Simulanka. I've never heard those names before. Seems like my own investigation failed to locate some critical personnel. Just not sure how I missed them. Strange, perhaps they simply live in seclusion. Yeah, if it's they're totally unprecedented, then feel as if they might be the soldiers or something. In any case, the results speak for themselves. That's true, now we have another option at our disposal compared to using the Gnosis. Our current plan will buy us some time. And if all else fails, we still have this plan as our last resort, even though executing it will come at a heavy cost. But that mean, means making everyone forget their past, we should definitely try to avoid it if we can. Actually speaking, the Gnosis, how did you know what it could do? The story begins with a cataclysm 500 years ago. I failed to save Conry from the rampage of the abyss, and the situation became unsalvageable. I preferred an outlet for the remainder of my platoon. Only to find that Nalan had fallen victim to the same tragedy. I defended this land for quite some time, and in the process met the chief of the Masters of the Nightwind, Aizu. Probably why he had some, some knowledge of soul fairying. I'm sure many people viewed Kanri as the cause of the tragedy, but Aizu was kind to me all the same and even helped me in my time of need. From that moment, I made it my mission to aid Nalan in battle, a warrior fights to win. Even though my homeland was lost, I was already committed to this fight. <clears throat> Together, Aizu and I fought many battles and overcame countless hardships. However, he was unable to escape his fate, and in his final moments told me the secret of the Gnosis. So as him, he recommended using the Gnosis on several occasions, even before the tragedy, but I turned him down each time. Hmm. You knew him and you fought for Nautlin all those years ago. Why don't I recognize you? Sai, it must be the mask. Hey, even without the mask, my past appearance is long gone. Even with the curse of immortality, the flesh still rots. Mr. Dainsleaf, I guess. Wait, do you know someone named Dainsleaf? That problem doesn't seem quite so extreme for him. You've met him already? Oh, so they know each other. Yeah, a bunch of times, sounds like you know him too. During the age of Conry, all I knew was his name. The last time I saw him in person is traveling with the princess. So he's also met the Abyss Twin, Kimesama. <coughs> but that would be after the age of Conry, because that's is during the age of Conry in person. Was, was she already the princess then, or was Dainsley previously with the Order? Of this order? He carries a degree of pain and hatred that far surpasses my own. Back then, you said you didn't want to fight me. Was it really because of my sibling? 
Yes, you're the brother of the princess. Given the role I held in Kondria, I prefer not to harm you. <laughs> okay, so... The Abyss Twin presumably had some... role in Kondria even before the Abyss Order. Although this is likely a self-imposed burden, if the princess saw me now, I doubt she would even recognize me. Mm -hmm. Okay. See something? Okay. As for your question, I don't know how Dane managed to slow the deterioration in his body. So Capitano's deal is explicitly actually rotting flesh. My appearance has much changed, and that's not the only thing. Even my physical strength is a shadow of what it once was. When are we getting Prime Cavitano? I would have never known during her battle it felt like I was fighting against the pinnacle of human strength. Hmm, and I still lost. I deserve no praise for that outfit. A loss is a loss. Still, it's a shame we never faced off 500 years ago. You could have seen what I was truly capable of. <clears throat> Somehow I feel maybe that, <clears throat> given how contending fire works, somehow the goal is basically going to be powering them up so they can fight each other to produce a bunch of contending fire to stave off the abyss. Not to take each other out, but just... The, the joy of competition. I agree, had we thought that, I'd also have been more motivated to go all out. Zenyoku, dashita. Full power. Saw that commotion back at the stadium, you were saying neither of you were using your full strength. I'd say we're evenly matched, if we face off again, victor will come down to who wants it more. <clears throat> I imagine you held back since there were spectators around that could have gotten hurt. Capitalizing on that situation would have only led to a hall of victory. Would have been no different from taking hostages. My goal was the Gnosis, and I failed to obtain it. That means I lost when simple. Speaking of the Gnosis, what are you going to tell the Sarvitsa? Her Majesty, the Sarvitsa allows every harbinger the freedom to pursue the meaning of their existence. When the time comes, that freedom can take precedence over her orders. As that's the ideal of love, maybe. That's why our methods can be so radically different, despite sharing the same goal and the same sovereign. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> I needed the Gnosis because I came here to save Nala. That was my primary motive. It once not one is saved, if the notes is still remained in my possession, I could bring it back to Sensnaya. My decision regarding the Gnosis will not change, so let's focus on the Abyss for now. Right, what happens when all six heroes are together? We'll probably unleash some kind of power. The heavens were mentioned earlier, anything to do with that? We will unleash a great power that can be used to thwart the Abyss, but only once, it's a power that Shibuanke gained from Renova. So presumably we might still need the Loom of Fate or something to reconstruct the Ley Lines. And more permanent solutions still needed. Renova is a god whose existence predates any Archon, yep. The Shade of Death. You can think of her like an emissary of the Heavenly Principles, she controls the power of death. So referred to as a god. Calls her a god of death later, but. And here the line would be more like in existence. She was ex. Let me see. Lonobawa, Dono Majin Yorimo Hurukara Sonzai Shi. Sort of in existence, forget predating any Archon. Wait, is that why you have the Ode of Resurrection? Yes, Renova also orchestrated Nalan's rules as for the Divine Throne, and as mentioned by Yohua Tekutin when we asked her about Heavenly Principles. If we guessed in his undifferentiated elemental energy, the Womb of Fate is possibly useful here, and... Of course, our ancient name still working, it's for the Divine Throne. Like I said before, when a human ascends to the Divine Throne, their inner flame will awaken. The size of the flame depends on the person's potential. Potential. The same principle applies to the ruler of death's power, with one notable distinction. The amount of power inherited will not change, depending on your ability to tolerate it. 
so it could destroy someone, presumably Renova's power. In other words, it's a kind of power that not everyone can withstand. But if you survive the trial, you will gain unprecedented strength. The ability to harness power is more formidable than any Archon. So is Kapitan going to try to harness it, or...? That still sounds really risky. We cannot walk this path without accepting risk. Mwani charged into the Night King, despite the abyssal contamination, Orgon fought back from the brink of death. In the face of their bravery, I must respond in kind, and that is my duty. Spoken like a true leader. Alright, that's enough for one day. You should head back and get some rest. I'm sure you're exhausted. The abyss will likely sense the change in Orgon. It's possible the frequency of the attacks will increase. There are many challenges to come, so we need to be prepared. When you put it that way, Pamela feels even more exhausted. Alright, let's head back. View the speaker's chamber. Can't burn ourselves here. Mavuka and the captain. And it's interesting that after Senora kept being referred to as Senora rather than the fair lady, we've got the knave and the captain. Hmm. Also, do you want to see? Yeah. Yeah, it's 70, but Wewa and Dori also need to get there. How many books do we... Some amount. Not that many. I'd need a bit more if I wanted to actually use them in theater. Uh, let's try to get some... Uh, some fates or something, I suppose. That's okay. Thank you. And... It's not even all the way. I'll do theater later this week, then. Do you want to get her door to 70 so they can at least be put in? Alright. At least be putting. I also got one more... I also got another blue fade out of that. And that get me to 60 pity, I think? Let me see. Yeah. Getting closer and closer to hard pity on standard. Let's see what I get this time. It'd be fun to get Primordial Jade Link Spear eventually for Zhao. So it is still his best, I'm pretty sure. Mavika, now that we're working together, we'll need to coordinate our efforts. I'll leave a portion of my forces for you to command. That will definitely help relieve some pressure. You're sure they won't object? It's an order. I will make that clear. Excellent, I appreciate your trust. Very... It's basically like these dark genes on him. Very moderate, but not necessarily in a bad way. Do the speaker's chamber and go... Oh, we got... Kachina and Moana here again. Did a go? Ouch, that hurts. Stay still, your wound needs time to heal. You need to rest for a few more days. Volsa, the monsters keep increasing in number. It's like something changed. She seems probably quite to the plenty. Oh, she's got this horned helmet. It's definitely unusual, and we sh all should be careful, but don't worry too much. You have a spider side. If there's one thing the Abyss fear is its strength. If they think we're easy prey, they've got another thing coming. Oh, someone's calling us, and that's... Kachina, coming, coming. More people to treat, or... Something wrong, Traveler? The feeling of dread is getting stronger. Do we really have time to wait for the final hero to appear? Return to the Weary Inn and have a short rest. Ah, oh, finally some relief. What rotten luck to be injured at a time like this? Optional objectives. That... It's okay. It's just an optional objective somewhere. Probably finding Milani and... Courier Smiths and around the Weary Inn. Mavuika and Capitano are working together now, which is nice. Over there. Trying to see all the dialogue options in the meantime. Hello? Oh, Shiwan ends right here. I suppose so. What are you saying? You got some... A Mako Poodle and some other swords. 
No, we can't give any of these to our soldiers. They were not tempered correctly at the forge. Bad news. Well made weapons and shields are vital for the survival of our people. I know we're under a lot of pressure, but we can't compromise on quality. With some not blaming you, I know this isn't your usual standard of work. Why don't you all take a break and I'll take care of the pieces? Is she gonna talk to us or her? I guess. Hey, she went in, is something wrong? Nothing I can't handle, just some rushed effective goods, that's all. Even the most skilled pressmen make mistakes under pressure. If you two want to avoid the same fate, you should really get some rest. Must be exhausted, too. Ah, don't worry, I like it that way. Bad news, maybe. Hmm. What do you mean by accidental pizza? You should head back and get some rest. I need to fix some things here first. Look around, talk to a few more of them. Someone's up there. Don't want to go back to the end yet. Let's see. And. Someone is around there in. Not by the fair, or. Doesn't seem like we can drop down into the stadium there. It's kind of a shame. In that case, I think. Teleporting in is probably going to be... Yeah, teleporting in will get us to that dialogue. And... Let's see... There's Kinich. Oh! Does that mean an hour of plus drive or something both ways? Kinich, you made it back in one piece. See, but oh, these must be friends of yours, so head out and see you later. Oh, goodness. Because you live out in the middle of nowhere. Ha, oh, it was a piece of cake. Those invasive pests are lucky someone called a truce or we would have burned them all to ashes. I appreciate the concern, Pamon. Despite Aha's description, the situation wasn't quite so smooth. Captain's forces are all elite warriors. It was a tough fight. You were prepared to retreat at any moment. Now the Pyro Orca and the Captain are working together. Well, the outcome I was expecting, that's for sure. You know what happened while we were in the ruin? We'll tell you about it some other time. What well, we said the Horakon's plan, advance a step further, this is the best outcome we could have hoped for. We really appreciate all your help. No, what I mean is, you live in the middle of nowhere. Is it, is, isn't it going to take an hour or something for you to get to the pizza place in the first place? But we have to keep pushing forward. See, but now we're just about to head out, actually. My job is calling for messengers. We won't keep you then, let's talk later. Hi, oh, little Kinich thinks he can just leave without consulting the Almighty Dragon Look for a while. Hey, wait up. Hmm. And optional objective is by the inn. Oh, okay. Makes sense. So in here, 19 years old. Area around the inn. Let me see. Did I miss something? I know that it's a time notification. I'm making a joke. Around nearby the weary inn. Let me see. Who is... Option to rest or... Shilinen and Kinijin Ahau. Okay, we didn't miss anything. Okay. It just automatically or activates. The nearby the Weary Inn is the two of them. Never mind. I'll enjoy my jokes. Oron, Granny. Da da da. It's Ron Granny. It looks like you have something to say. Scoff, you know exactly what you did. You need some sense knocked into you. That's what I think. Now, where do I even begin? He says I'm knocked into him because she's probably going to punch him. Again. I'm sorry. Well, now that you have nowhere to run, that's when you apologize. You couldn't wait to run off last time and the time before that. Pretty sure I apologize those times, too. What exactly were you thinking? Being a wanted criminal was one thing. But then you also tried to pull off that whole thing of the ancient ruin. I'm not the one who needs an apology. Apologize to yourself for risking your life. Okay, I'm sorry. Da-da-da. 
I don't have anything to say for myself. Granny, help me all you want. I know I messed up. You better be sincere. This is an incredibly serious matter. I'm being sincere, I promise. I've seriously reflected on my actions. I know what I did was risky, and I know I made some bad choices, but I don't regret it. Just had to do something. Not because I thought it was special, but because I wanted to help not one as much as I can. Of course, in the end, I just ended up causing more trouble, so you're right. My apology doesn't mean much, but I don't know what else I can say. You even had Ifa bring me that gem. A simple thank you was enough, but still thank you, Granny. But it was also to spy on him, so he doesn't know that, does he? You're welcome, just make sure to thank Ifa sometime. I will. Anyway, I don't feel too grateful. I tampered with a bag to copy a portion of your memories. Oh, I didn't notice. Of course, you forget how many years I have on you, like you can uncover one of my tricks. Anyway, I have something else to tell you. The Pyrochron has discussed your case with the others. Many of your actions violated the rules of not one. You should understand. You won't have to take responsibility for that. I understand, but your efforts were entirely meaningless in the end. In addition to giving us another failsafe, you saved yourself with sheer force of will and managed to become a hero. Not too shabby, grandson. Did the traveler in Palmont tell you to say that? What? No, I said that because I mean it. I can't believe you're complimenting me at a time like this. You normally let your fists do the talking. You're not at the hook just yet. Yeah, definitely a punchy catalyst. Told the traveler I was going to break your legs, and I meant every part of it. Could you not? I still need them to walk. Trying to negotiate. Are you alright? Make me an offer. Another punishment. Which punishment do you want? Given all the good things that I managed to accomplish, can you let me off the hook this one time? I promise to do better in the future. Fine, I can let this slide for now, but I'll be watching. We'll see if I change my mind. Punishment's still possible, or Traveler Pama didn't expect to see you here. Just some time for you to notice. Hello, your Yoshikari. Talking things out with your grandson. Yes, looking after these little rascals is rather exhausting. Taking care of the Traveler isn't easy either. Paman's life is an uphill battle. What should mark? Traveler Paman, I want to thank you for your help back at the ruin. It was nothing. Just don't do anything like that ever again. I won't. Let's get together sometime. If Oron really wants to thank you, he can treat us all to a tasty meal. Sounds great. We'll be there. Cool. And they're gone now. Okay. So the rest is up there. I want to see real quick. Kinich is right by there. What did he say again? Let me check. Still around, or... See, no, right, he's gone, because he had to do his messenger stuff. Right. Thank you. No damage from that, nice. Enter the weary inn. Can sleep now. Cool. And yes, the Tolly and Oron are... Not there. Cool. Let's go inside and find our bed and... There are no longer any optional objectives. We did those. I wonder if there was an optional objective in the the end of the very first set of Archon quests, clearing up the Hellatrol blockades after the Storm Terror fight, and it wasn't really denoted. I wonder if it's denoted now. Anyway, I avoided it. Because I thought I still had stuff to do. I didn't. If you're done for the day, we should get some rest. Pama has a feeling that we'll need it for tomorrow. If let's rest, I have something else to do. Alright, let's take care of that first then. Well, we don't, but... We already did all of our optional objectives. Okay, we have let's rest. That night. You have well tech in again, or... You're ready. Oh, ancient name stuff. Okay, yep, let's go meet the Lord of the Night. In a dream, or... Oh. This? Oh, so they're just going over to the cave. So this is where you heard the war of the night. Guess that means she really has awakened. Hopefully we made it before she falls asleep again. Fret not, I'm still here for a weak life form. Falling asleep is no less taxing and exercise than staying awake. I'm sorry for disturbing your rest. She's calling herself weak, but there's something we didn't have the chance to ask you earlier. We need to forge a new ancient name for the traveler, mess up the capitalization. But we ran into a problem. He's not from not one, so there are no records of him in the Night Kingdom. See, Malvika must hold him in high regard. It would seem the two of you are not simply here on her orders. So let's say you do believe this traveler to be deserving. Da da da. 
Da, da, da. Speak your mind, there are no others here. You are both my children, both children of not one. I would hear your opinions on the matter. He especially has saved Kichina and devoted himself to helping us avert this disaster. Not one owes him a debt. But that debt has not been repaid. With an ancient name, we can at least guarantee his safety. Even though that guarantee will come at the cost of your own life. Yes. So it's true, forging an ancient name consumes the life of the craftsman. Forging an ancient name is an act of creation. It involves taking disparate concepts throughout the Night Kingdom and condensing them into a heroic epic. Her greatest work. But it takes time for the new concept to be integrated into that realm. The ancient name is like a seed, and the life of the craftsman is the outer shell, serving as its protection. Once that process is complete, the seed will sprout, and having served its purpose, the outer shell will gradually disappear. Forging an ancient name is no easy task, and creating one for an outlander makes it even more challenging. Still, if you're here, that means your mind is set. That's because I believe forging this name will be well worth it. We don't know how long we'll be able to hold back the abyss, what the final prince of averting this disaster will be. If giving up my life means that all the people of Nalan can have a future, and the sacrifice is practically negligible, even when I'm staring death in the face, I don't think I'll regret this decision. For the name Baraka or Blessing, it's also Arabic, interestingly enough. This is a part of my duty. I understand the chance may be exceedingly slim, but you still want to seize it, because this could be the final step to victory. And you, Satlawi, the anxiety you feel, it's because you saw something else, something you were not meant to see. She was a drunk, she had a vision of disaster. <clears throat> so you know about that too. What is she talking about? I've had concerns for a long time, Mavica's plan needs too much time and too many things can go wrong. The Masters of the Night would have a ceremony that can be used to glimpse the future. It's just using this power in the Pyrarchon has always been seen as a taboo. You did it anyway, what did you see? Death. Da da da. A key part of Mavica's plan is using the six heroes to release the power Shabalaki obtained from the Ruin of Renova. But. It doesn't take into account potential, which means it could easily consume her. <clears throat> Considering its origins, the price is using that power is death. You're saying Mavika is going to die in this war against the Abyss? Yes. I can't just ignore what I saw. That's why I need the Traveler's power. I need the power of a Descender. Don't forget, Satwali, even if it may seem like someone is fated to die, the nature of death and fate are different. Fate indicates what will happen in the future, the time, manner, and place are all predetermined. But death is different, death is a rule. The ruler of death's power will allow Mavika to triumph over the abyss, but she must offer her own life in the process. The ruler of death cares little for the time and manner of a death, she simply guarantees that it will recur. Fate may be able to influence the timing, but that is all the Traveler can change. You're saying we may be able to change when she dies, but not the outcome. Guess postpone it into the future. A natural human death. I cannot help you with this, I'm afraid. It's beyond my capabilities. Malvika knows about all this, doesn't she? Yes, I imagine she has long accepted this eventuality. Why can't she so strong? She never gives up, never rests until a problem is solved. She's not the type of person to just quietly accept her death. Travel shares that quality, that's why I think this gamble is worth it. Together I know they can overcome the impossible, be it fate or death. We shall have to wait and see, but I will curb my expectations. Larry David? My time is running out. It is my honor to witness humanity in this moment of absolute determination. We won't forget your contributions. Once we deal with the abyss, we'll find a way to keep you alive. Thank you for saying that, but there is nothing you can do. How many of yours of life are not? Ten, one hundred, one thousand, ten thousand? The Night Kingdom will disappear, the humans will continue to fight against the Abyss, and in the end all will cease to exist when you consider all that, extending my life is meaningless. That's what makes us different, even if our end comes tomorrow, humanity will still do whatever it takes to survive today. Exactly. Times like these always fill me with admiration and reinforce my commitment to the mandate I shoulder to protect humanity. My creator was right in esteeming you as special above others. Here, this is my gift to you and an extension of my will. You can record the traveler's experiences in this land, whether from the past or the future. Mm, special 
writing material. With it, you can forge the ancient name you desire, and the traveler will also become a hero forever recorded in the memory of Natlan. Thank you, we're sorry to ask this of you, and your strength is already all but spent. Really, thank you so much. The things that were necessary, this is the least that an angel can do. Talk for you to leave, it's getting dark. Mm. <clears throat> oh, we can't sleep with all the noise outside, forget it, let's go check it out. More violence. And still that. Check the situation outside your room. And oh! Are you okay? Are are you okay? Uh Okay. That was rather unexpected. Talk about a roller skating trick. Shunen Satoli, is there a reason you're up so early? We went to see the Lord of the Night and she gave us this. Like I said before, I couldn't forge your ancient name because there was no record of you in the Night Kingdom. But with this, we can finally record your deeds. Just keep it with you during your time in Notland and eventually to be full of your adventures. I wonder if that'll include the little tepid sore stuff too. Really what Paimon C. Oh, special icon in Pilgrim's Chronicle. Oh. Your journey exploring the mysterious island together shall forever shine in Umoja's heart. Oh, so presumably we unlock Pyro Traveler once we do all of these options. All these little quests, some of them aren't even visible yet. In the words of Malipo, who was baptized in fire, everything comes at a price. The star that transcends destiny and the greatest companion, so... Star is destiny. Oh, we see Paman's little crown. With your encouragement, Uthabi T tasted victory for the first time. Beauty all may be sacrificed for the beloved land. But... Shilinen... Having traversed mountains, streams, lakes, and seas, it has gradually come to know the world as you have your mission. It's... Mountains, streams, lakes, and seas. It has gradually come to know the world as you have your mission. It... I wonder what... Those markings are, because this is... That's her story quest. Another story quest. Archon quest. Archon quest, presumably default, but this... Huh. Interesting. I feel like that's... This is world quest related, then. Maybe it's an exploration marker? Well, it's the two of us and a sun in the middle. Oh, and that must be Kachina. Right, is the only one. Well, Oron's guaranteed too, but Kachina and Oron would be the only ones guaranteed except for us, presumably. It's not a concrete meeting. It reflects the Lord of the Night's will and shows what she wants you to see. Now, the words don't worry about its form. When you want to check the contents, just take it out and have a look. It sounds convenient. It's all super light and doesn't take up too much space. This is a really awesome gift. It didn't come at a price right. It didn't cost a ton of more, right? Well, yeah, I would feel bad accepting something like that. Don't worry, you too, like you saw yesterday, aiding humanity is the Lord of the Night's mandate. She would have willingly reconstructed Nautland's ley lines in the cost of her own existence. She wouldn't ask anything in return for this small thing. Exactly, just take it. Well, if you say so, huh? Oh, thank goodness you're here. The Abyss attacked again, and it's really bad. The monsters are everywhere. We need help. So soon, we just thought and fought them off. We can figure that out later. Let's go. And next quest, Pilgrim's Chronicles there. Obtained from the Lord of the Night, this material plays a key role in the creation of ancient names. Its essence is memory. For not one's ley lines, do not record the adventures of outsiders, and so a special vessel is needed here. Memory flows within this receptacle, and if you focus on its surface, it will display the vital footprints you have left in not one. From what you've heard, Shilin and Shetali had a rather easy time obtaining this material. This you presume is thanks to the Lord of the Night's gentleness and generosity. I... 
wonder how this one was obtained. Hmm. But it, along with the blazing flint ore and the cornerstone of stars and flames, are very plainly marking things related to unlocking Pyro Traveler. Okay. It's not actually the final quest in this chain, then. Move the weary in and join the battle. Abyssal monsters of a not one. The curtain rises on a massive war. I should probably take another quick break. Okay, so the little tip that was sore one is marking between pledge and forgetness the final world quest from last patch. Let me just check out Portum's Chronicle. Okay. Let's see. Check out Chronicle again. Right here. It is funny that all of these are from Archon Quest and then there's Realm Dispatch. And right, right, the Primal Flame illuminates the world under the banner of Kiongozi. Humanity takes its first steps towards the future. So imagine that's going to get unlocked. And apparently, you also have one for Shionen, so. Then Shionen and Shaska, so seven people, and then. If all of these are, if these are the only ones that are story cross related or ancient name related, how many of these can even be world quest related? It's just thinking, just imagining, well more will probably be Archon quest related because I imagine that Pyro Traveler should be coming in 5.3 or something. That's the wrap up of the Archon quest, but Kion Gozi. Kyongozi, leader in Swahili, leader. Okay. Let's join the battle. 
We'll give the weary in. Let's talk to Malvika and learn more about the battle situation. Oh, but we have a special map. Stuck inside that one right now. Ah. No teleport waypoints. Battlefield map gameplay tutorial. The signs of the canopy careers are conveying battlefield intel. Use the markings on the map to assess the situation in various sectors. Due to ley line instability, teleport waypoints will be temporarily disabled. So teleport waypoints use the ley lines. Interesting locations where support is still need support is needed will be marked as shown in the image. Press to proceed there. Some emergencies will occur at the same time. You'll have to make a choice. The battlefield will shift depending on your decision. Updates on your companions and additional intel will also be marked on the map. Press to view. Interesting. Abyssal corrosion level. Abyssal activity weak. Well, it's status stable. Active monsters. Total deaths. Incidents resolved. Hmm. Oh, but you can see little bits of the map that are currently inaccessible. It expands a little farther than usual. Hmm. Okay. This is the surging darkness. I wonder how you can max out a diverging point. I wonder what you do to oh max out number of people you save or whatever. Eh, it's no fun. It's actually why this happened. I see I'll send reinforcements to those two locations. This other one is too dangerous. I'll handle it myself. There are many locations are remote with no inhabitants. Let's bring our warriors back and make sure they're careful on the retreat. Twin Peace career understood. I'll spread the word. We're here. What's going on? Kachina said the abyss attacked again. Yes, it's not looking good. Our forces have always been able to handle the sporadic attacks. And now there are more monsters than ever, and the attacks are more frequent. What about the scale? What areas are they targeting? All of not one? Not just around the stadium, but even the remote areas of the collective of plenty are reporting attacks. So by the volcano. Could this also be some kind of omen if things continue like this, then? It won't last much longer, I know. What we're seeing now is the desperation of the abyss. It knows we're only one hero short. I don't have the strength to fight it right now. This is its best opportunity and its final chance. You're saying we just have to hold out for as long as we can. It'll be a long fight. Our current focus needs to be on protecting civilians and conserving manpower. There are caravans and adventurers trapped in the wild. Many of our warriors have already left to rescue them, but they'll need reinforcements. Give that to us, we'll head out right away. I went Shion and Kachina head to the camp of the Children of Echoes. So to follow your need in the Masters of the Night Wind. Mayen no Aruji? As an important figure in the plan, Oro will stay here. Your tribe is too far from the stadium. Understood, I'll give right away. I prepared a hot air balloon to take you where you're needed. Messengers from the sons of the camp are traveling all along that one. Update them once you've completed your mission. They'll compile the information into a battle report. As I receive intel from the various regions, I'll plan your next move. Alright, no time to lose, let's go. And... Be careful, everyone. What about us? Where should we go? I received word that a small team escorting civilians back to the stadium was attacked. They won't be able to hold out for long. Can I leave them to you? Of course. Thank you, the hot air balloon is over there. Outdoor hmm. rescue all hotspots that require reinforcements are shown here. 18%. Okay. Interesting. Oh, we can't actually see that there. A shipment transport outdoor rescue, a shipment transporting supplies suddenly came under abyssal attack. Coming trapped as a result, warriors are on site to push the monsters back, but things look grim. Immediate help is needed. Buff the warriors of not one are still the spirit and vigor. Under their influence, the invading monsters have been weakened. We got some other people, the Springs Warriors, and Carving Safe Passage. This area's combat effects were unknown. So we can't go there. Important medical supplies were waylaid here by monsters. 
The transport team at a fortuitous rescue are now heading for the stadium under escort. And stadium key site. Guards are present while on the clock to ensure that those who have evacuated here from the surrounding lands may safely enter the stadium with a sacred flame. And oh, we got Chief Wina there. Temporary sanctuary wars from the signs of the canopy guard this outpost such that civilians who have been hurt out in the wild, those unable to move quickly, may seek temporary shelter here. Wina Chief and spanning career manpower. Wina Chief at the signs of the canopy is recruiting new couriers to deal with the ever increasing re battle report workload. We also got stuff down here too. Okay. Can I click these? Security support. The Fatui transfer to the Power Archon's command have been... Okay. I... Right. Check the map, and it's forcing us in there right now. Just see everything and everywhere. Capitano's up there by the Children of Echoes. See all that dialogue. Move around and over. Station nearby to provide aid to passing merchants and travelers. Security support. And... let me see. Oh, come on. Aw. Not zooming out enough. I... okay? Come on, come on. I guess once we teleport there, we'll find it. Ride the hot air balloon to reinforce the hot spot. Is this a healing spot, or...? Yeah, party set up here, too. I'm gonna use this party. So now we can find everything. Okay. It's a corrosion level. Back to monsters and... 128 deaths already. 1,077 active monsters of abyssal activity weak. Only one status stable. Titanic shadows. The abyssal power that accumulates near the mountains has created large numbers of monsters of massive stature. Fortunately, the Fitui Harbinger named the Captain has led his troops to reinforce that area, slowing their offensive. Monsters infects both flanks of the valley around the Children of Echoes. The relevant personnel are currently organizing rescue operations. Kachina among their number. What would happen if I went all the way over there? Would it let me? Hmm. Weeding them himself. And people of the springs of the Molani. The hot springs and Amina there too. Hot springs of the people of the springs have been defiled by the Abyss's power. The tribe's people, cleansing the waters, have organized an effort to purify the waters. Molani and Amina are taking part as well. The abyssal monsters emerge. See his icon there, which is fun. Okay, so yeah, we can't even leave the area yet. You can only leave the area by teleporting around. Okay. And... You have left the mission, we'll be teleported back to the area. Oh, wow. Gotta go to our balloon, then. Very limited, but not necessarily in a bad way. Okay. Start it up. We're up. Hey, this thing is pretty convenient. We have a corridor now, basically. It's not only fast, but also saves us a lot of energy. 18, and is it going up? Nothing's changing yet. We're gonna be attacked by monsters midway, or... If I hopped off, I wonder if... There'd be a current of air to get me back on, or... Oh, and there they are. No, they beat them. Well, they're warriors fighting everywhere. She coaching the Iromitai. Like they're everywhere. It seems like Chaos is making good things for those battle reports. And... Take some time. If only we could teleport. And over there is... Can't really see the people stationed there. Oh well. And this should be the spot. Hop on down and... When will this stop? And oh, there... Monsters are going down, that's nice. Our allies are strong. There's actually contending flame over there, interestingly. Look, they must be trapped. Let's go help. Frankly, it seems they can handle this themselves. Dargo, reinforcements, thank goodness. We got people over here. Ardra and Cookbone. And I- Oh, now we're in the fight. 
Aww. We will let you handle that. Just want to see. Well, it seems that you're not trying to be all that fast with it. Okay. And abyssal enemy. Thank you. And oh, you are too far away to even get hit. Whatever. And there we go. Talk to the warrior. Wasn't complicated, really. Dorgo, thank you for coming. We're almost at the breaking point. Oh, Joe, there were just too many monsters. They just kept coming wave after wave. I've never seen it this bad. We we got here in time. You should all get going. I know, but it's not that easy. A lot of people were hurt in the battle just now. Our cart was also attacked, and our supplies are scattered everywhere. It's not important right now. We need to focus on getting out of here alive. I know, but those are medical supplies, but if they need them back at the stadium. It's them over here. Who who the courier? And... We came to hell, but it looks like you don't need it, and I stopped making it through. Now we can head straight to the next location. But are there areas you need help? Here, take a look at the latest battle report. Messengers from the signs of the canopy are traveling all around not one to pass along the latest intel. If you see a messenger from the signs of the canopy, feel free to ask them about the latest battle situation. Thanks, now where should we go next? New stuff seems like you can hold your own in a fight, so let's split up, choose where you want to go, and we'll take the rest. So it's like we use some help here, though. These supplies are really important. What should we do? It's all right, don't delay your rescue efforts on our account. But if we stay here too long, the monsters might come back. What do you think, Trevor? Should we stay and help? Um, we'll do whatever you decide. Hmm. Selectivity week. Well, instead of stable, active monsters gone up. Deaths 128, 1177, instance resolve 1. Check the map and select a hotspot to reinforce. And under siege, a surviving courier is missive. Preventative measures, the sounds of monster activity ring through the valley. Beyond the Children of Echoes, teams of warriors are giving their all in deploying defensive works to hold off the imminent impact. Warriors versus normal hill turtles. I wonder when we're going to get crazier, stronger stuff. Let's buy that fit to a camp. The Earth Roars. Oh, and that's... Is that an iniquitous Baptist or a... Lector. Great tremors rock the area near the ruins. It's on perhaps that some giant monster works beneath. Malvika has already headed over to evacuate the people and resolve the crisis. Nicholas Baptist, I think, and then Malvika. Maybe an Electro Lector. Under siege, this is an emergency. The results will depend on whether or not you provide immediate support. The stronghold near the sides of the canopy is beset by monsters on every side. And the civilians in Wooden Within cannot be moved. Their foes will only increase should they not receive help in time. Pyro. Notable buff, danger damage increase, notable hazard monster is pyro present, but aware of damage from the burning reaction. And a surviving courier's missive. Intelligence suggests that we lost contact with the courier nearby. They are likely to have been attacked by monsters. We to support them if at all possible. Geo damage increased due to the power of the abyss monsters in the area have significantly higher HP. And that Hilltroll Wanderer. And that's normal. Interesting, but Protecting civilians versus protecting Saurians, actually. Hmm. Protect the civilians, honestly. Talk to Uturunku and Tapos. Got healing there. If you see a messenger from the signs of the canopy, feel free to ask them about the latest battle situation. And will that heal everybody? Yep, that does heal everybody. Okay. Dargo. Let's take a moment to regroup. Who knows when the monsters will show up again? Kokpon? These supplies are very important. It would be a huge waste to lose them. Siphon will help you. Let's round them up and get packing. And. Tapos. Traveler, can I ask you a favor? My mother's a doctor when she heard about the attacks in the wilderness. She rushed out of health and I haven't heard from her since. I'm worried she's not a fighter. I can't wait to check on her. I want her to stay out of this. So if you see her, can you please tell her to take shelter? Of course we've got this. Thank you. That makes it easier to focus on the current battle. That's... I'll be heading out with the other soon, so I just hope she's okay. Uturunku is here. His horns. Do you get scared? It's normal to be afraid, not really. Normal, you mean I'm not being a coward? Not at all, you're here, aren't you? Ready to fight, even despite your fear? That's impressive. Well, yeah, you're right, thanks, you too. Mission the current area has been completed. Check the map and select the next location. 
I wonder if talking to them will make a difference. Thanks for encouragement. You helped me accept my fear, and now it doesn't seem so scary anymore. Interesting. We've encouraged him, and we're going to talk to mom. And will this burn me? No, I can't even climb on it. Okay. Let's go protect the civilians. Okay. Oh, well, that dropped me. Okay. We'll add the hot air balloon to reinforce the hot spot. Which is... Actually kind of far away from that. Start it. Reinforce the hot spot. Down over there, we can see... There's nobody in that camp, actually. So it seems... Could have put a couple NPCs down there, really. Oh well. Protect the civilians. Right over there by that house. Alright. Let's get to it. <clears throat> well, we got a stone in there for weight. And I. Hey, Kini's just ran past. There's only the Shilin in if we went to the other spot. Must be busy delivering messages that we see didn't look hurt. Kini's just right here. And he. Still running, now he's disappeared. Defeat all opponents. Now we're right here, and... Sod of that. Cool. Let's make this happen. This is it. Looks like a battle's in process. Let's go help them. And, let's see. Thank you. How much longer are these things gonna keep coming? And I... Hit. Cool. And... That didn't hit much of anyone, it seems. Oh, well. Too far away for the missiles. And... Thank you, thank you, that kind of worked. I, thanks, alright, there we go, talk to the warriors stationed here. <clears throat> Achiyaki, if you thank you so much, you came just in time. Wakar, what's going on? Where other places hit? Yeah, it seems like it. The Parakan told us to be ready to evacuate. She warned us something like this could happen. They never thought there would be this many monsters. Why well, you got here just in time, but what should we do about the wounded? The wounded? Achiyaku, this area is hit bad. We're housing the wounded in this house for now, but we're short on medicine. It's not easy for them to get around either. We don't know what to do next. We're sitting ducks and we stay here, but we can't just leave them behind. Thank goodness you're sure that you saved us all. You should move them into the signs of the canopy when we have the chance. Why right, the monsters are gone, should be safer now, so my men can escort them. It will take time, though, and some of the wounded can't walk. They might have to stay here. Don't worry, once we escort the first group, we'll call for reinforcements. That way everyone can evacuate. So out here for now, then we can head to the next area. So messenger over there, don't forget, we can get the latest intel from them. Talk to the courier to obtain battlefield intel. Over there by monsters, okay. And... Battle reports indicate that the crisis in this area has been resolved by Nusta and her team. Let us hope everything has gone well. And... Fighting Rift Hounds. Gathering beasts. Large number of Vissel monsters suddenly appear in the wilderness. Nearby monsters. Warriors are searching for any monster prop getting a Vissel pylons. Having heard the news, Kinich has also rushed to this location. Surviving Courier's missive. Okay, so they've moved a bit, it seems. Shunen's team is... not there. What happened to Shion and his team? What's the situation in the tribal camp? Safe for now, although most people are out delivering intel, the Abyss launches a large scale attack in the meantime. And it will follow us to protect the tribe, but you scared? Not a chance. Brave. Check out the situation in the surrounding area. Optional. No, I don't want to go. I want to stay with you. Well, we can't go with you, my dear Aoki. She's hurt, so it's going to be okay. Kaga injury. It's nice people are going to take you home, then they'll come back for me. So, no, I won't go. Yeah, that. And... Situation in the surrounding area. The tower's also got its own. Part of elemental sight. I oh, let's bail out this person. Oh, well. Click over here, follow me. Look, someone's surrounded. This is... Guaman. And let's... Knock that down, and... Hello, thank you, and... Milani can make this work easily. Yep, simple. Shred was nice. Maya, well, thank you, son. They really came out of nowhere. Is this the mom, or... 
Probably not. Well, I'm on the FX Quest. Thank you all for coming all the way to help us, Doctor. It's doing my part. Doctor, wait, do you know Tapos? So my son Juan did something happen to him. No, he's fine. He was just worried about you. He asked us to help you to seek shelter. I see. I know it's dangerous to be out and about like this, but I just can't sit back and do nothing. How about this? I'll write to him and promise to team up with the next group of warriors I come across. I'll be safer that way. Sounds good, Pam. I'm sure he'll be relieved you're okay. Thank you for passing along his message. Did that. And is she around now, or... I think she's gone into that part of the camp, because she was originally up there. I wonder if she would have had something to say if we'd approached her beforehand. Expressing her fear or something. Oh well. So no sign of any warriors I need to have. Soon we're running out of time. Corrosion has not gone up, but... Two incidents, 158 deaths. 1,185 monsters. And is that other guy gonna... Other guys right there. Makar. It was terrifying at least we made it through. Guaman. That doctor is amazing guy over my life. I'll never forget that. Alright. Let's get some intel. A Siri courier. Thanks for your help. I've updated the intel on this area. Start spreading the word. I mean, there are too. A lot of places still need your help. Alright. Mission in the current area has been completed. Check the map and select a hotspot to reinforce. And what's new? Key supply rescue. This is an emergency. The results will depend on whether or not you, not you provide immediate support. You'll find many here who will aid you in battle. If not swarm this area, make sure to pack some healing. Monsters have suddenly attacked the merchant route to the people. The springs in the south have not only threatened the lives of caravan members, but are running amok, destroying bottle rescue supplies. They must be stopped. How is this much of a merchant route at all? Well, we go over there. Echoes through the valley. The children of Echoes, for defensive works, have come under brutal assault by monsters. The gathered warriors fight fiercely, but their foes show no, shot, show no sign of diminishing in number. Geo damage increase. Abyss pollen presence detected in the area. Pylons will constantly summon monsters and must be destroyed post haste, but. They're warriors, we should protect civilians. And. Oh wow, there was a collapse deep within the Children of Echoes' mine shafts. To make things worse, Lava also poured in, trapping many warriors. Malvika is about to go in solo to rescue them. Wow. And. That's gone up too. Abyssal activity weekly on status stable. I can only imagine it's going to get worse. 1,225 active monsters, 180 total deaths, instance result 2. So there. There. Hope everything has gone well in Capitano. By himself, almost. Well, and okay. Got some. Hydro Heralds. A serious landslide has occurred out in the mountainous wilds due to intense monster activity at the summit. Here then. The captain of the Futui detachment led by him are on the scene, clearing out the monsters and rescuing the injured. So, I guess, yeah, Cryo is decent against them. Dantra would be even better. Electro Lector. Pyro would have worked well there, too. Let's protect civilians. <sighs> Defeat all opponents. We're just right there. Okay, Fatui. All right. Cool. And we can have Shiwan then come in to crystallize and then heal. Thank you. And just knock you down. And then we knock, get you going. And good damage. Thank you. And fight. And let's missile them. Cool. And thank I. I okay. Alright. Mm -hmm. We got some trouble here. Just a little. There we go, and one more. Oh, we got more of them too. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, alright. All right. We need to. Let's get Kinu to try here then, and shoot that, and. Well, we messed that up. Okay. Cool, and. Alright, shoot, and. Uh, who am I even hitting? I, okay. Annoying. Mm. And Milani. Come on, Milani. And 
A few more hits. Will hopefully work. And there we are, maybe. We got another Riddle Rip down. Okay. Come on, come on. I go up here. And thank you. I won't do all that much, but all right. Thank you. And there we are. Helped out the Fatui. Start again. Thanks for the help. You're the captain's soldiers, aren't you? Yes, perfect. His orders are now under the Pirate Archon's command. Not everyone understood his decision, but our Lord's orders take precedence over all. Come on, we're alive because of them. They saved us. Oh, I guess that means we should thank you guys. Oh, this feels weird. Do you maybe go sell the cop at Green? Where you headed the people in the springs? That was the plan, but I don't know if it's safe anymore. I suggest heading to the stadium. Most of the men probably focused there, so it'll be safer than staying with the tribes. Once we take care of these monsters, some of our soldiers will escort you. Thank you so much. This little extra help never hurts. People from all over Nalan are headed to the stadium. The area needs to be the center of our defensive efforts. If your other tasks are complete, I'm sure the people there could use your aid. Thanks for the intel. Hearing those words from you also feels quite strange for me, but I can only accept the situation at hand. 43. Check the map and select a hotspot to reinforce. And only option is the stadium now. Key site and defense. Evacuate civilians have gathered in the stadium at the Sacred Flame. But their movements have been marked by the Abyssal Monsters. The defenses must be shored up to ensure that those on the move and the civilians within the stadium remain safe. Pyro damage is increased within the light of the Sacred Flame. Mightier foes are present. We're over here. Oh, that's where the Tri-Stars are, basically. A team of Emergency Evacuation. A team of Fisui Soldiers is escorting civilians evacuated from the Masters of the Nightwind around here over the stadium. The abysses contaminate the roads, forcing them to make a detour through a mountain pass, and it's just hill patrols. And Vittoria, this area's common effects unknown, yeah. Echoes through the valley, the abyss mon abyssal monsters gradually increase in number, plunging the warriors into a vortex of endless battle. By the time reinforcements arrived, there were already serious casualties in the area. Mm hmm. But. They are soldiers. Abyssal monsters emerge. Monsters infest both. Vest both flanks of the valley around the Children of Echoes. The relevant personnel are currently organizing rescue operations. Kachina among their numbers. Saw that already. We go as one. No Molani. A team of warriors from the people of the springs are helping their soaring companions retreat toward the stadium. Despite the reports of monster activity along the way, they do not need any support. We go as one. Under siege, Achiyaku, a warrior from the signs of the canopy. And his comrades are holding the line here. They aim to send the wounded from here over to their tribe. The Dr. Maya Morel is with them. Providing much me much medical aid. Dead of monsters. A key pass among the mountaintops around the stadium has been occupied by swarming monsters. Their ways are easy to defend, but difficult to attack. Having heard of this, the captain is headed over to the scene. So yeah, both Hydro and Electro would be good for Cryo to deal with. That said, Dendro would be even better at... Well, combined, Dendro would be the best option. Be really funny if revived Capitan. It was actually Dendro. <laughs> and this will corrosion level forty three. Monsters have gone up. That's not much. One hundred eighty. Literally elite. Okay. One thousand three hundred thirty seven. Active monsters. Abyss activity weak. Loyal and status stable. Instance resolved three. It's the most interesting part. Just instantly teleport now. Finally, war. It's dark now. Okay, well, there's so many people here. It's like it really is getting too dangerous for people to stay out in the wild. Okay, what doesn't? Guess that means the situation isn't getting better. We'll just have to keep fighting. Okay. And let's break down your pillars. Thank you, and... You've literally said that yourself! You literally said that yourself! Don't act like this is unprecedented or especially cruel. If you want me to quit playing the game, I can quit playing the game. I can just play more Zelda forever. But it... Well, it... There was an implication that you would... That behavior should be changed. I'll say that much. Okay, and... Thank you. Let's go over and... 
shoot you down. Okay, and thanks. Shoot. And alright. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you. And mm, we'll take down monsters in the meantime. Why not really? Okay. Well, all right, and prioritize the abyssal problem, but I want to see. Eventually, it should be possible to take all of them out and see if we get anything new there. And okay, shoot and blast. We're not. So it seems they're just going to spawn infinitely. That makes some sense. Okay, and all right. And take you out. And let's see. And it still focusing on that. All right. Come on, come on. I, yeah, very plainly, it not gonna disappear ever, really. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. My dream. It really does seem as if they're just going to keep coming forever. And... Yeah, 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 okay. Let's just... Keep trying to hit the... Cannon, and... Yep, we've walked on to the cannon now, and there we go. Cool. Valid target. Here you are! Finally, Kinich appearance! Oh, Kinich, you're back! Situation bad. Yeah, I thought it would check on the situation after finishing my delivery work. You're here though, I doubt I'm needed. Every person counts, we wanted a breather anyway. It's good to have him back. Yeah, it really feels like we're running short on people everywhere. It's so dangerous out there, just when we think everything's under control and everything goes off the deep end. Now that Palmin's complaining, it's just what if things get even worse? Well, don't say that. Oh, how, Scott, what a stupid question, yo. The answer is just too afraid to face it like a puny blood going into a pipe dream. Okay. Okay, that's enough out of you. Sorry, this may be one of the few times I have a point. Survival is not guaranteed. And... On the bright side, we can pat ourselves in the back for saving all these civilians and bringing you up. Focus on saving civilians. My tribe is launching a second wave of patrol soon. We'll do a scan of the whole nation. As long as we don't scatter our forces, the abyss is nothing to fear. Fear is useless anyway. Even if the endless search of monsters scares you to death, you still have to fight. There's no other choice. Where is Mavika? She took a small team of warriors to the mines. A group of people from the Children of Echoes were trapped there. I think she just got back. The lava alone makes that area dangerous, and now it's crawling with monsters without her power. She's just an ordinary vision bearer like the rest of us. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried. Interesting that... Mentioning that she has a vision. Presumably Pyra, then, maybe. Spewing nonsense is always quit worrying to look at the outcome genius. She's still obviously the strongest warrior you have. Yeah, she always seems so confident. Plus, she told us you can only become the Orcum by proving your strength. It's true, she certainly helps to save manpower. She can handle the dangerous areas almost entirely on her own. Alright, alright, I'm tired of this conversation. Either take a break or get moving already. I'm excited for a motorcycle. A break sounds good. We won't be much help in the field if we're dead on our feet. Good idea. Maybe we can see if the people around here need anything in the meantime. Even on a break, we can still be helpful. He looks like we're on the same page. There are a lot of people here. In here, could they all be refugees? Let's get a bit of healing. Yep. Got some optional objectives, which is nice. Stop playing with my emotions. That, some people over here. Let's check the map. The special battle map here is really, really cool. Hey, Abyssal Corrosion has gone up to 46%. Abyssal Activity Week, Leon status stable. No more deaths or monsters. I really... Wish what? That you stop playing around? Yes. 
Kweku. Hakon, the commissions just keep coming one after another. Norma, I'd be happy given the circumstances, both way. It's only commission if you get paid. This is something else entirely. Kweku, so everyone's joined their part. There's no other adventure than commission fees. Anyone can be an adventurer. Except those who like to play it safe. I want to check the dialogue for... If I'd taken the other paths. Because we got some choices between reinforcement... Maybe I will just kill you eventually. Surging darkness. Let's check the points of divergence. That if you do the other one, a surviving courier's missive, you still see Keen H. Whom everything looks good so far. Wait, those Sorians are fighting the abyss. Unbelievable. Attacking cute innocent Sorians. Come on, let's go help. It's alright, you're safe now. The bad guys are all gone. Go and find your friends. Okay, it's dangerous out here. It's best to stick together. I don't think they understood that. Okay, then shoo, shoo, come on, shoo, and still nothing. Wait, there's something on the ground here. Let's see, it's, oh, it's one of the battle reports from the signs of the canopy. This must be what the Sorians were trying to protect. Looks pretty recent, too. We can use it to figure out where to go next. If it's recent, that means the messenger might still be nearby. You're right. Maybe they just dropped it by accident, though. Anyway, uh, we saw the battle report, so you guys don't need to worry anymore. And it's, uh, it's not a response, but what do you want to do? Follow the battle report or continue to explore this area. Raman, a courier. Ah, uh, someone's injured. This must be the messenger. Harry, all right. Can you still rock? Battle report. I have to find the battle report. We already found it. Yeah, we got you covered. Here you go. Thank you, Sai. I just hope I'm not too late in times like these. Every second counts. Even a short delay can put lives at risk. Don't worry about that. We can take things from here. You just need to head back to the stadium and focus on getting better. Have faith in your people. You're right. I can't do much in my current state anyway. How can we make sure we'll get back safely, though? Can't let him make the journey alone. It's too dangerous out there. Brave Yunkasaur. Roar, roar, roar. How about that? Just like this Yunkasaur wants to give you a lift. Well, you guys sure about this? It's really dangerous out there. Roar, roar. All right. Well, thanks. This is a huge help. Be careful on the road. Thank goodness for those Saurians, they really came to the rescue. Yeah, it stands a much better chance of survival now. It's no wonder people from Notland are so fond of their Saurian companions. Turns out they could understand what you were saying this whole time. Wait, that's your takeaway from this? Unbelievable. And if you select the one where you defend the warriors, that goes through the valley. That's the place that's go help. This is the one I was just reading. This is the one I'm about to read where a bunch of people died, but they were warriors. They were prepared for the possibility. The alternative would be leaving civilians undefended. Chamali, and that's interesting because there's Chamali State as a local legend. I'm getting mixed messages here. So, place, let's go help. Thank you for coming. We finally have time to catch our breath. How's the situation with the Children of Echoes? Fairly stable for now. We've stationed ourselves here to act as a buffer. What about the monsters that suddenly appeared? Based on my experience, the monsters are attracted to you things, the presence of living beings in combat. That's why we've set up our front line defense so far from the tribe. The civilians are more isolated from combat that way. Oh, the messenger's here. Perfect. We were just waiting for the latest battle report. We'll stay here and continue to guard the tribe. There's so much that needs to be done after that last battle, but we're short on manpower. If you're not in a hurry to leave, would you be willing to help out? That's a decision for Travor. Here, talk to Olanta. Here's the current situation. People from all over Notlan are trying to make their way to the stadium, but they're being targeted by the Abyss. If you have the strength, they could really use some help. Chamali optional. By, by the way, I know. I think I know where some monsters might be. It's an area nearby. If you got some time, I'd appreciate the backup, of course. All right, let's move out. Sorry, I have something else to do. Don't worry about it. I'll round up a few warriors to go with me. The player chose to help Chamali after defeating the monsters. Thanks to you, we managed to clear out the threats in the surrounding area. Let's head back. Talk to Chamali again. Optional. Continue to stand guard. Thanks for all the help. Talk to Yaretsi. Optional. Just stay calm. Time to be brave. You're a warrior. It's your job to protect people. And... What was there? I know Yaretsi before. And... Let me see. Yaretsi. Talk to Akama. Optional. Nice work out there this free. Don't forget to refuel or you won't have enough strength when it counts. Obtain chocolate one. Talk to Akama again. Optional. This uniform brings back a lot of memories. It's been a while since I wore it, but hey, still fits like a glove. Okay, and key supply rescue. Oh, but I already teleported right to. I miss the dog from this patchouli. Talk to Ahina. I want to seek shelter as well, but the people the springs need these potions. I have to get them there. The Fatui could escort you. I wouldn't risk it. Second dog option. Continue with the flow of text. I'm not sure about that. We can get you close. It's on our way. Oh, well. Great. I appreciate it. Start again. 
Captain must have known the situation would get a lot more dire than expected. That would explain why he was so anxious. Other oh, transcriptions were missed. Okay. Oh well, whatever. Let's talk to some people for the optional objectives. See who we can help in the meantime. And Uchorunku. We've seen this guy before. I've managed to accept my fear, but I still want to ask you one last thing. If I die, do you think anyone will remember me? Don't think about that. Do your best to stay alive. Absolutely. That's what I'm hoping for, too. It's just never mind. Hmm. Can't even talk to him again. Too dejected. Kinich is here. The almighty dragon Kuho Aha is trying to rest. He's her racket at once lower creatures. She'll take no comments on the matter. No one asked. Yep, trying to rest, dragon, trying to rest, whatever. Nobody asked. Tewodros and Andane. The protection of this location is critical. Our current forces won't be enough. We need reinforcements. I'm sure other areas are thinking the exact same thing. And Kokpon and Ardra. Those are the people I saved before. It's you two. Right, I'm so glad you're all right. Hey, you made it back. Sure did Jarga made sure we got back safely before rushing out again. Plus we managed to deliver the medical supplies to the stadium. I really can't thank you enough for your help. So it did work. And I'm going to say that again. Yeah, just repeat it. Yeah. Cool. And anyone in here? Machiku and Kamaka. Hey, you two met it back in one piece. Honestly, it's all thanks to you. If I toyed the Teltas are still fighting out there, I hope they're okay. One piece? One piece? Never mind. Matikui? Panting, that's it. I need a break. And it's... Rest is there. Optional objective is up there. Talk to you, my well. Oh, the doctor's here. Nice. Oh, I didn't expect to see you here. My son wrote back to me and said things are under control on his end. That's one less thing to worry about for now. I knew I followed a group of warriors back here when I heard they needed medical personnel at the stadium. By age means I can't charge to the front ones, but I can handle things here. Everything will get better. I wonder if we would see different people here if we helped different people by doing different objectives. Ikmoza. I'm terrified the monsters aren't going to show up here, right? Check again and. 46. Hasn't gone up. Surging darkness. Would there be different people here? And if key supply rescue was not chosen. My well only if she was rescued. Presumably she died. Talked to diligent Yubkas or Zasorian. Optional only if they returned from surviving careers missive. No going outside. It's too dangerous. That goes for you too. Valiant Tepet Lasor. Thanks for saving us human. The next time this pesky monster show up, I'll fight them off. Then Kamaka, oh, the other option. If we didn't rescue the civilians, how long are these supplies going to last? I was heading to the people at the Sphinx for business, but it looks like I'd kiss that more goodbye. At least I'm still in the peace. Something happened on the road. I was attacked by monsters. I really thought it was over, but he believed it. The Fatui saved my life. Captain soldiers are running around not on rescuing people. I almost couldn't believe it. I guess the Abyss really is our common enemy. Set out again after rescuing us. I hope they'll be okay out there. Okay. That's some optional dialogue that... I either missed or chose an option that ruled it out. Let's rest here and... I want to get some rest travel. We have to head out in a bit. I want to keep looking around. No dialogue for that. Let's do this. Yep, let's get some rest. Wait, there's battle reports here. The situation is still quite, quite grim. Here, take a look. It's like this place also isn't as safe as we thought. That plus the bridge to the stadium is also compromised. Oh, what's going on? Oh, it's back. Pylon's back? It's an abyssal pylon? The rabble rousers return. They don't know when to give up. Abyssal pylon here? That's not good news. We need to deal with it now. And... Trial Keenage. Defeat the monsters. Destroy the abyssal pylons. He's got... Fang of the Mountain King. Nice. And still no blast, whatever. And we got... Crit damage boost and increased damage in AoE and dangerous damage boost. Okay, that's fun. Dia replacing the trial Kinich. Interesting. And I, we are 
around the wrong thing, and just, can we break that? Nice, and blow it up. Thank you, and blast. Pilot's gone. Defeat monsters and destroy the abyssal pilots. There's one more over there already. Wow. Well, of course, we can just flame granite that. That's fun. Come on, and I... Well, okay. Come on, and now... Oh. Night Soul Shot. Thank you. Very, very good. There are too many of them, they just keep coming. Do not need to buy the monsters. Kitty on Naizou. So wrestlers are playing dirty, strength another is the lowest form of strength, and burning is really, really good at destroying the pylon. Interesting. That makes sense. And we can just break that. And big OE. Good stuff. And now we got There's a sigil underneath that abyss mage, interestingly. Oh, she's smacking with a shark board. Shark board is a melee weapon, that's fun. Ooh, baby. Pylon on the sacred flame itself. That kind of looked like it Eternatus, honestly. Oh. Bad news, baby. Time for more fights. Oh. For what? Mentioning Pokemon? Now I really feel like I need to stop talking. Oh, and she's got her special sword. Frankly, she should be using her Night Soul. Oh, okay. Oh, because of the warning? And saved again by... And he has this... I like that Fatui Emblem Ice Sword he's got. And the Fatui are coming to save us along with the Orlone. Let's just watch the show. Thanks? The situation is great. Hold this position, keep the people sane. He's just using a two-star bow. Chaos and emptiness. So that's the abyss. And it knows that now is its best chance. On the sacred flame, or guns on the case. She said Mavica. They don't really call her Archon there. Here's our conclusion, more or less, and there's our Gnosis. What does this mean? Is she about to use the Gnosis, or...? What? Backup plan? Hmm. Sitting up in the sky. Hello there. Are we gonna go in, or...? Well, what was that? The physical embodiment of pure dread and destruction. Ah, uh -huh, that black pit of despair will eat you all alive at long last. Very nonchalant. Uh huh, well, if all you want, it's gonna eat you too. Well, the dragons are better against abyss than humans. Well, depending on what Ahau actually is, really. So, is that the source of the abyss's power? It emitted a huge amount of abyssal energy. This is a full scale invasion of not fun. I have to get a closer look at that thing. It may already be too late. Did the voice mention about a report? I have a feeling things are about to get very bad very quickly. There's no time to lose. You got it? The fact that dead Pamkin is this nervous just goes to show how serious this really is. Let's go, the disaster's really happening. And... Oh baby! We want still stable. 2,116 monsters, 401 deaths, 5 incidents resolved. So activity weak. It doesn't look all that weak to me. Check the map and select a hotspot to reinforce. I have search and rescue south and north and oh my goodness. He's going up here in lots of mist. Oh, and it actually looks a bit like Simulanga, but seems that there's basically an abyssal barrier surrounding the entirety of Not One now. Wanna check and yep, we can see the rift over that way, and that's where more or less where Kinish is headed. It's actually a little off center, frankly. I love it. Yeah, nation of war. This is what a nation of war is like. There's war. 
Okay, cleansing the waters, the hot springs of the people, the springs have been defiled by the abyss's power. Strive's people have organized an effort to purify the waters, Moani and Amin are taking part as well. There's been no update from the sector for some time, situation unknown. It, it's the other thing. This is real struggle. We're experiencing real strikes, real stakes and real struggle, but Moani was over here, so not there anymore. The abyssal creatures have broken through the flower feather clans of Etzevine. The civilians had to evacuate with brutal implications for the battle. Flower feather is over here, more or less. And this place is wholly consumed by abyssal power. No life can dare endure here, none dare approach. There you go. Survivor search and rescue north, an emergency. Battle reports indicate that many civilians have been surrounded here, even as the abyss's attacks rapidly intensify. If we are to rescue them, then we must make haste. And this is. Still more civilians, but they do have swords and- Oh, that- This is an opportunity to fight the Kazbek Mimifora. Pyotr reports indicate that people and their sworn companions have been trapped here even as the Abyss's attacks rapidly intensify. Or to rescue them, we must make haste. Should we save the Saurians too? Presumably they've got a better situation since they've got reinforcements. And the immense power of the Abyss has taken on some ineffable form. Now hangs up on high, saying the skies have not won black, spreading endless calamity upon every inch of still breathing land. Warriors from the signs of the Canvic guard this outpost, post such that civilians who have been hurt out in the wild and those unable to move may seek temporary shelter here. There has been no update from the sector for some time. Situation unknown. Wana, chief of the signs of the canopy, or no update from the sector for some time. Situation unknown. The abyss's power spreads from this place to all of not one. Monsters here are endless, their attacks inexorable, and that it's around the temple, linky to the Night Kingdom too. The Fatui transport it, transfer the power weapons command, and station here nearby to provide aid to passing merchants and travelers. There's been no update from the sector for some time. Situation unknown. Situation unknown. Situation unknown. The origin scout the abyss source, the origin of the abyssal powers appear in the skies above. Kinish is rushing over to investigate. As of yet, no further intel from him has arrived. And also, I don't think you saw it, but we got an item that basically marks our deeds and not one. It's presumably going to when we get all of these marked up, presumably that's when we get Power Traveler. And that marks Shibalanke, so. Sting the Wrestler or Sting the Musician? Because I know Sting the Musician lives in Italy, but I also know you like wrestling. Tewodros and Andane. Thanks for your help, we'll manage for now. Please go help the other affected areas. Now we're safe from the abyss monsters now, but at least they're still scared off by the sacred flame. Stay and protect any refugees who have come here to seek sanctuary. I like Sting. I really do. The Police are one of the few bands whose entire discography I've listened to. It helps that there isn't that much of it. Oh, weird, huh. Because I know that Sting literally lives in a castle by Florence. So, do we protect the people in the Saurians or just the people? Because it's just civilians with no... Dinosaurs protecting them. We're, we're gonna protect the civilians. Gonna protect the people who are more vulnerable here. Even if it does mean not getting to fight the new monster, there are monsters everywhere. Spirit engulfs the heavens. Battle report says there's still people around you who could use our help, so let's wipe the monsters out. Yeah, I like that. Hard choices. Despair engulfs the heavens. The true master of the abyssal powers emerged at last. The Earth's corrosion intensifies and monsters are driven mad. The apocalyptic scene becoming a festering seedbed of impotent despair. It's not even the last quest here. And we'll... Oh, this is night soul music. And let's actually get some healing in there and... Got our shred, so that should be good for Milani. And we'll hit. Thank you. And hit again. This is just the same music as Night Soul Local Legends, which is fun. I here we go and let's Akini shoot this one and shoot. Thank you. And shoot. And how many more? I right. thanks. Shoot and blast. Blast up. There we go. Fun. We can hit a couple more times and there we are. 
Search for any nearby survivors and are there any? A bunch of Atui just straight up died protecting these people. Oh my goodness. And Yep. Oops. Over here, come on, quick. Wake up, you gotta wake up. What? It's around where the Tri-Stars were. They're all dead. Does this mean that the Tri-Stars are canonically dead, maybe? Because there's an Electro guy, a Cryo guy, and a Pyro guy here. Mm -hmm. Oh no, were we too late? I saw way on no, don't come any closer, but there were some people who survived. You know, but it's okay, sweetie. They're not monsters. I think they're here to help. Don't worry, you're safe now. Come on out. We saved some people. Good. Thank you. <clears throat> what happened here? The Abyss had us surrounded. Luckily, this patrol came to our rescue and we started evacuating. And then that black fire shot out of the stadium and that huge monstrosity appeared in the sky. Right after that, monsters suddenly appeared everywhere. They couldn't fight them off, so, so they hit us here. Sobbing. Should keep moving. This is no place to hang around. What? Right, you need to get to the stadium? Come on, we'll take you. Thank you. Save our lives. We're forever indebted to you. Hmm. What was his name? It's okay, you can cry. I won't judge. <laughs> da da da. Come on. Huh? This is no disaster. This is war. Yeah, Pama knows it's just it hasn't fully sunk in yet. But anyway, right now let's focus on getting them to the stadium. If any luck, there'll be an update waiting for us there. If not, we'll just have to play things by ear. And... Sent there immediately? Seems so. Talk to the couriers at the stadium. Any new news? 54% corrosion. Abyssal activity moderate. We want status dented. Better than dental. Then we need to brush its teeth. Liyak. Liyak career. Do you not brush your teeth or something? Neither what is about a report, we don't have too much information since so few messengers are making it back here. But as I understand, the folks at the sounds of the canopy outpost suffered a large share of this attack as they were trying to evacuate civilians at the stadium. The free freeze had there immediately. The selectivity is strong. We lent status dented total of 533. Best of luck, I hope you hear good news. Well, then this over here was Ferocious Beast Unleashed. Ferocious Abyssal Creatures have attacked this strong point belonging to the signs of the canopy. The civilians and wounded personnel are resisting desperately, but the situation grows perilous. Ooh, hmm. This, you rescued the survivors here, paying the utmost respect to those who made the ultimate sacrifice, fighting here until the very last moment. And there has been no update from this sector for some time. Situation unknown. Yeah. But in the darkest hour, hope remains. This is one wall. Still need to wait for that fifth hero to appear. Get to find that Chasmic Memophore, which is exciting. This burning is really, really good against special abyss shields, because it Especially, especially weak to Night Soul and also just marks instances of elemental damage with someone still fighting. Let's try this out then. And come on. We will hit all of you and see, can we hit like this? I There we go, we hit from behind and that worked. I oh, new enemy, Tenebrous Mimifor. An abyssal monster that has descended from this world from the deep dark depths of a twisted and alien world. The Tenebrous Mimifora can mimic various phenomena and can deploy a void word in combat. So all the sort of abyss mimics we saw last patch and this patch were these enemies already transformed. Some of its attacks can cause stackable attrition that after a time will cause your active character to lose HP. Use a specific number of elemental attacks to destroy this creature's ward. That's aligned to elemental attacks and break through its defenses more effectively. That also... Next patch is gonna have a boss that fights that way too. Which is gonna be fun. 
And there we are. Let's put this back down. And oh, we got almost normal form. And let's break your board. And there we go. Thank you. Now we can attack him normally. It's interesting how when we do that, we actually get more light when we go into cannon form. Okay, but it only seems to attack in other forms. Actually, I'll give it to you, Kim. What happened to their warriors all dead? Do you have some of them starting back with the civilians, all the rest stayed behind to keep going? They're all dead. I'm the only survivor. We're done for now. The abyss will attack again any minute. And then I'll be a dead man, too. Us three civilians hold up indoors won't stand a chance. When you're there, we'll think of something. There's gotta be a way out of this. Like what? None of the civilians have any combat experience. They're old people, children wounded. They can't defend themselves. Monsters are gone for now, right? Get back inside. It's too dangerous out here. No, it's dangerous. That's why I came out. Same. Kunak, Libyak. What is this? Can you spare some equipment for us? I've never been in a battle before, but I'm young and I can hold a weapon. It's gotta count for something. I used to fight in the Pokemon when I was a young man. Admittedly, I never made it very far. But if you had me a spear, I think the old Muscle memory will kick in. There were others willing to join us as well. I persuaded them to fight. We can't let the blood spilled by our warrior brethren be in vain. We can't watch on as our heroes was hard, and we can't let them fight alone. Hmm, we don't have much equipment left. But. Hachiyaka okay, take a piece from the dead. With a few extra fighters, we should just be about to hold our own. It'll be a slow advance, but that's better than being stuck here. Everyone who's fighting, be prepared to follow my orders to the ladder. Yes, sir. Got it? Take your hot air balloon, you can use it to get to the stadium. No need, you'll bother people to save. We're taking up arms so they can focus on more important things. You're the heroes after all. Okay, well, I'll try going that way. That's where we came from, and there weren't too many monsters. Thank you both, you've been a huge help. I'm devastated by the deaths of my brothers in arms, but their sacrifice means anything. I have to live on. We're not going down without a fight, just be careful. Thanks, we'll now go. There are other people to save out there. Check the map and select a hotspot to reinforce, and now they're moving. Any updates? Our search and rescue south is the only keep coming, and more missile mist. Hmm. Keen is just still going up there. As of yet, for no further intel from him has arrived. Place is wholly consumed by abyssal power. Hmm, and this is another source. Yep, earlier war, war reports indicate that some people and their soaring companions came under siege here even as the abyss was intensifying its attacks. It was unknown if any have survived. Still have to go back there just to basically see the results of not being able to protect everywhere at once. Walk our Guam on. Okay, we can't talk to them. Wonder how far they're going to move. Let's get a bit of healing. Eventually, presumably, they will basically disappear as they reach their objective, I suppose. How far are these guys going to walk? Oh, wow. That's not good. Rain and thunder, or... Oh, okay. Hopefully it's not you dying, too. Then we need to go to the Night Kingdom to rescue. <clears throat> okay. So, Animo, Hydro, and Electro. Sounds like they're going for a Taser team. And... I never said I would do it. I just said it would be necessary. And we go back up. Let's look down and see. They... Probably... Never mind. No such thing. Still moving. Okay. Let's find a spot to look down at them, maybe. Or not. I'll hire some mercenaries or something. Is that alright? Either way, let's go and find that other tenebrous memophore shadowed mimic plant. It's interesting that 
It's explicitly a plant kind of thing. Monsters have a walk. No, no, it looks like there's a Saurian corpse. I would hire some mercenaries. That's what I said. Hmm. Oh, but they don't have their shields. These are just normal, fake... Okay, normal fake Saurians, I suppose. Okay, and I... Mm, no vaporize is bad news for me. Okay, I'm back. Uh, <clears throat> Alive again. See what happens. We got the Ice Bowl here. Hopefully that... Honestly, it made more difference. The Ice Bowl makes more difference in the second cooling fan, really. Oh, and right! It's, we were taken out of the instance, so this... <laughs> this is what it's like, then. Okay. That... Side there. That's what happens. That's how you restart this thing. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so the place is... Still normal outside the instance, so now we just <clears throat> go back into battle. Okay. Just like a domain. Got our domain and our dungeon. Yeah, it's helping. It's quite nice. But I... This. I'm not sure what you'll think about this, but. I somehow got a preposterously bad injury from the little metal wedge by my door on the way out of my room somehow. Just sliced my finger open. So I put some tape on it so it wouldn't be sharp anymore. All I could think of is, okay, why is that? Yeah. I took a preposterous amount of damage. And it didn't even hurt at first. Yeah? A bandage is on it now. I'm just... kind of amazed that it happened in the first place. It's just... an injury from there? Well, it... The world wants me dead. Even more than it wants you dead. I mean that. Okay, and... Oh, we got more Memophora. Hello. Alright, and... Uh, <clears throat> Hmm, okay. Let's group. And one is good here. Got our various shreds and thank you. Take you down and a little bit more here. Well, the two are not mutually exclusive. Hi. And take you down. You know? Whatever convinces you and makes you happy, I suppose. And... Follow the voice to find the survivors, if any. Somebody or something seems to be up here. Well, now you're covered in death poop. So who won in the end? A young Yunkasaur. <clears throat> Guess you're the sole survivor, huh, buddy? There, there, you don't be scared, Yoshi. Yosh. Head to the stadium, you'll be safe there. It's that way. Well, then you had to smell it at least. I don't envy you. You're upset and nothing Pomlet says can make it better, but you have to go right away, okay? Da da da, stay strong. <clears throat> yeah, you're right, we have to keep going. But what is Intel said the children of Echoes did support too? Let's head over. Mm -hmm. Check the map and select a hot spot to reinforce. And you rescue the few little ones who survive, and whether they be human or sworn, burn with a desire to defend their home. That's what's next. Endless Echoes. The children of Echoes for defensive works have come under brutal assault by monsters. The warriors here can no longer put up an effective resistance, but they have yet to give up. Sufficient intelligence, the serious combat effects are unknown. Hmm. Yeah, what would that even smell like? Death? These warriors are struggling, Quick could help them. See what's all here, and... Interesting, what's... Okay, there's a pylon here. Okay, have fun. And we should take down this 
Taiwan one. Van and... Thanks. Shoot and... Now we can get that up in there. And shoot and... Okay. Mm. Some limits of that. That's alright. And... Can I target... Mm, the pylon? I cannot target the pylon directly. Mm. Now we can hit you. There we go. Still need to destroy the monsters though, it seems. And I... Lack of healing is not great here. I okay, and shoot. Now we can try that out. Cool, and I... Oh, goodness. Oh, but did the hit we dealt with... Milani there actually... As in the non-damaging hit, damage enough to, well, knock it out of the balloon, or what? Well, how did that work? And now we got you. Hello, and we'll... Oh, my... That was embarrassing. Okay. I... Let's have Shuen and do some healing then. Some healing then. And... Can I... Mm, not amazing here. And... One, two... Gotta wait for her to come back. Well, Electro Charge is okay, I guess. Thank you, and... Flicken can shred that down pretty well, and... Thank you, and one more shot. We'll do it, except... Never mind. This will do it. There we go, okay. Rest in peace. Shimali? <coughs> name basically means armor, I think, for Conquer Nectali. Thank you so much, you saved the day. The enemy attacks were strong with each wave. We're nearly at breaking point. Given how few of us are left, you think it's time to cover losses. This base is as good as gone. Yeah, everyone needs to stick together. Best if we work somewhere else. Better late than never. Time to evacuate. Warriors gather around. Welcome back. For anyone who still wants to fight on the front lines, the Trojan Echo's front is the closest to here. Anyone who wants to leave will likely also see action as they evacuate, but will be afford afforded safety at the stadium. Those are the options we're abandoning the space, and you're free to stay with the group or leave. With our limited numbers, I can't promise that it will be of any real assistance to the Children Echo's war effort. Even if we do join them, please bear this in mind as you make your decision. Now then, anyone who wishes to keep fighting, show me how serious you are. All of them, hmm. Really? Even after my less than rousing speech? Yaretsi, yeah, why would you give up now after everything we've been through? We didn't stick it out this far just to admit defeat. Akuma, we can't give another inch to the abyss. We have to fight them back. Not for our own sake, then at least for our fallen brother. Very well. For not one, not the Motameni. For not one. We may be few in number, but our will remain strong. We will join the ranks of the Children of Echoes, and they'll be stronger for it, however little. Okay, we'll take care of ourselves. Don't worry, it'll be just like another night war. We we'll force the abyss back if it's the last thing we do. I wonder what resurrect how many resurrections there might be. What's that? <clears throat> huh? And Purple Star. Is that Yansan? Shoot, that creepy abyss thing just raining down in dangerous looking stumps again. No, it's basically the opposite. It's over toward people of the Springs territory, from what I've heard. Their defense has been substantially weakened by the Abyss invasion. Now let's head over and check in on them. Check the map and select a hot spot to reinforce. Hmm. <clears throat> They're running over that way. Wonder when they'll pop out. Hmm. Check this, what's new? Far as the darkness and Abyssal activity severe oil and status damage. Active monsters 2116, total less 533, instance resolve 9. 54% abyssal corrosion. <clears throat> they are getting stuck on that terrain over there. Okay. So Flowers of Darkness. There are no memophore there, it's just rift downs. The source of the abyssal power shall pour forth pollution from the skies, and if it has not gotten rid of in time, the abyss shall swiftly corrode not one's lands. Powers of darkness, hydro damage increase, and abyss tumor is present. <clears throat> abyss tumor. Hmm. And clear out the monsters present. 
That's over by Blashko, actually, the local legend. Abyss Tumor. What the Pomon can't believe it. This is a bit like Samaru, I suppose, and this interesting. Can I hit that or zoom away fighting the monsters off will make them more Well, make this fightable or something. Your own stronger attacks are useless. Why isn't anything working? Probably have to destroy everything here first. And one hit, that's right. The abyss is just to keep sending more and more monsters. The next wave will be here soon. We need to get out of here. Search for survivors or any information of value. Let's check the area for survivors in a hurry. And there's nothing we can do to this right now. Wow. And, well, we can target it, but it's not a valid... That won't do anything. And what is this? Battlefield Intel. Oh, dead courier. Not good. There's just one battle report left, and it gives a long list of places where the dangerous substance has been dropping. So, this is the first report we've had in ages, which means the messenger's job has been all but impossible. But there's nothing we can do about that. Our priority is to get to the next affected zone. <coughs> Even if we don't find any survivors, maybe, maybe that strange substance over there won't be as rock solid as here. There's a chance at least. Abyssal, abyssal activity die early once that's disordered. 77% contamination. 2,703 active monsters. 19,000... Not 1,968 total deaths, instant result, dense result 10. And Caravan Destroyed, Jetka Holosaur. By the Scions, finality forthcoming. Abyssal monsters ever small in number, and despite all attempts, the core of the Abyss's might could not be destroyed. Evacuate first, then try something else later. Ride the hot air balloon to reinforce the hot spot. We gotta ride the hot air balloon, then. They're gonna show us some scene from hell. Actually, in the meantime, is there no place to heal? It seems not immediately. With the hot air balloon to reinforce the hot spot. So we got the islands up there at least. <coughs> Forgiston is all well and good, but oh, we can see. Is our balloon getting get struck down? We're gonna have to destroy that tumor there, or what? Hmm. This is certainly something. <clears throat> no, that's actually outside of the area we can even touch. <clears throat> there are a bunch of Abyss Mimics around. I wonder what the implication... Uh, there are too many monsters, there's just too many. It's beyond anything we've seen before. The fact that they take the form of excellent things... to attack. I wonder what the implication of that is. Basically that maybe they can't act directly, or at least not without taking on other forms. <clears throat> I don't know. Well, finality is forthcoming. Just gotta wait for that final hero. Very, very silent here. Very scarily serene ride. Still too concrete to destroy. I imagine we're going to learn some secret about how to destroy those things. And oh goodness, just more and more. Going down. The abyss tumor fell here, twisting it into a lair for monsters without even the barest trace of survivors. And people with springs no longer fighting there. Hmm. Not good. What else? Another abyss tumor marking. <clears throat> Abyssal power. Abyss tumor. Kinich still has not come back. Well, <clears throat> if the lane extends all the way over here. Wonder if we'll meet Kinich there, or go to the flame granite tree, or what? <clears throat> Hotspot is right over there. Hmm. Wonder how much permanent change, if any, will happen to Nalan after all this. 
special story mode, experience some of the same content, continue, yada yada. Got rift hounds here and <clears throat> lots and lots of dead. Dot 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 exclamation mark. Well. Oh. <clears throat> and it's seeping with this abyssal smoke. All we can do is mop up, yeah. Get rid of that rift hound at least. Oh, we're just going past. Are we? Or... Reinforce the hotspot. Okay, what if I... Try to get... Oh, okay, we can't even leave the hot air balloon at all. Well, I was... Screaming in pain. After... What happened. Less in pain than anger. Hot hair balloon. Trouble, this was getting too much for Paimon to take. Since America, don't be afraid, Paimon. Oh, it's us talking. I know we can win this. It doesn't hurt as much as it's just annoying. Okay, let's do this. I just plan on napping hard after this stream to get energy back. I've consumed a lot of mental energy this week. And if my body's gonna have to devote resources to healing this cot... I'm not going to get as much energy back as I would have otherwise. And that just made me really, really angry. Oh, yeah. They're getting better at having them talk, too. Well, it... I have goals. I have ambitions. Reverberations. The children of Echoes are ready to meet the foe. But when said foe cannot be beaten, that is the most perilous course of all. 77% corrosion. Abyssal activity die early on status disordered. <clears throat> Time to... Mission already accepted. Oh, because, yep. Thought we were going to go save the signs of the canopy, but... No point in that. <coughs> oh, thank goodness those people are still standing. Dead Rhino. Crow out the monsters present, and then will we find a way to destroy the tumor? Let's get a bit of healing. And, alright, let's send in Shionan to crystallize that. There we go, and one, two, and... It's interesting that their shields are getting demolished a bit by the, uh, presumably something there is doing zero damage, and one more, cool, speak to the people in the area. What are we going to do about this tumor? Over there. <clears throat> Move out, you've got to get out of here. How are we going to handle this, if at all? We got a little tepet with sword. So now like, huh, what on earth are these things? How are they invulnerable to attack? Yeah, at least with regular abyssal pylons, anyone with a vision can destroy them, but this thing, no one seems anything like it before. Masla. It's like a part of that sky demon's body. Something. Sonoiruyatsu, that thing from the sky. Whatever it is, it seems like it's spawned abyssal pylons, and with them, a never-ending stream of abyss monsters. Just no match for it. No one, at this point, retreat looks like our best option. We're fighting a losing battle here. <coughs> the stadium is our only hope. That's where the sacred flame is, which seems to be the one thing that well the abyssal energy is afraid of. The power Archon is guiding the flame. As long as that continues, we still have hope. Hmm, what's this? Water and some snacks? You look like you need it. I'm guessing you've been supporting fine all over the map. Sounds like you need a breather. Got enough people to hold our own here, and it's high time to take a break. Why don't you sit down and gather your strength for a minute? It's true, we've been fighting pretty much nonstop. Crap, you must be exhausted. What do you think? <clears throat> right now, there are bigger things to worry about. What is it? As long as that dark monstrosity that remains unbeaten, gathering together might actually put a target on the children that goes back. You're right, well then, guess we'd better go warn them. Well, with your decision, if you want to set off right away, Pilot will come with you. Check the map, it's like a hot spot to reinforce, and it's... Evac Team Rendezvous. And since Resolve 12, but monsters and deaths have not changed. 
After ensuring that the children of Echoes were all able to pull back, he decided to abandon the tribal encampment for now. The fall of the retreating populace to the stadium of the Sacred Flame. Thing to say here, nothing to say here. There was nothing to say. Okay. <clears throat> Did appreciate the war drop we got about Forgiston actually not being fire, but undifferentiated energy. That they can make a name for us, that the Lord of the Night is not actually the Shade of Death, but the Shade of Death is Renova. And that the Loom of Fate might actually get used to restore the Ley Lines, possibly. And we... And we teleport there. Teleport didn't work. We had to accept and then teleport. Huh. Separately. Head to the Children of Echo's camp. Got a bit of healing. Right over there, and... I know the monsters have already stormed in. Kachina's right there. Hi. Kachina and Shilinen. Gonna watch him fight her. Oh, well. Spear and sword, which neither of them even really use. <clears throat> okay. Oh, two guys, things are bad. Here's something fell in the sky that's impervious to our attacks. Now, just here, we've run into a few of these already. Pakal gave the order for everyone to evacuate. Shion and I stayed behind to the rear guard. It's a good thing you did, otherwise, you might not have made it in time. Kachina, he and I can deal with the remaining monsters in Abyssal Pylons. Should go catch up with the rest of the group before your parents start worrying about you. Got it all leave right away, they need all the help they can get. Say safe, Kachina. Come on, let's get this done. Clear out the monsters present. Oh, the monsters left us a present. Got some warriors and a lot, okay. Okay. So let's Oh, that's an actual mimifor then. Okay. I we could put that in then, and there we are. Yeah, and the ward is it's all about the number of hits, which is interesting and tough. Which means that Keenich is still the best way to take you down. And we Oh, because we're not getting burning on you. Because it doesn't count as a hit, so the shield can't proc in a normal kind of way. Okay, now I see. Now it's back in your shell. Thank you, and... So now you do have an actual normal attack when you're in that form still. Okay, and there we go. Cool. Get Forgiston and healing back. Okay. It's the same music as the Night Kingdom stuff, which is interesting. Oh! Secret source. Interesting. It's got a bigger shield, too. I wonder if that's just because of the way it's being shown, but... Can break the shield with burning reactions pretty well. And eh, nice. Thanks. And oh well, never mind. There we go. And hit. Oh goodness, you are actually rather resilient. Yeah. Okay. Come on, Sheila, man. We will go back down, and then we can get a few more times. And oh, you got another shield back. I. Oh, your vulnerability window is not as. Oh, not as short as I would have liked. Okay, cool. And one, two, and hit. There we are. Those Mimifor are real cool. Keenich is good against them. Given that he deals a lot of quick Night Soul hits and... So they're weak to Night Soul. And also, just being able to put Burning as a part of the kit is good too. Thank you, I... I did not mean to do that. Whatever. And... Come on, break that. Pile on, pile on, and hit. Thank you, and come on. Or not, okay. Come on. We need. You won't be able to hit that thing directly. Hmm. Okay. Well, try that again, and shoot our shot at the pile on. There we are. E back complete, prepare to fall back. E back, E back. Okay. I mean, evac, now evac. Whatever. And lower. Can't do any teleporting yet, it seems. 
We didn't need to, though. It's work. Mm-hmm, that's yeah. everyone. Ichi and okay. one, two. That's Maybe everyone. You know, the casualties about the looks of things. This is good. We can evacuate shortly. What did you call me? I appreciate your help. How are things out there? Pretty dire, I bet. Extremely dire. <clears throat> Some of the things I've seen, I don't know if I'll ever be able to get them out of my mind. Are we not undoomed to this fame? I've never witnessed a full scale of this invasion before. I mean, I'd heard stories about the sky being painted black, but I always thought that was an exaggeration. Malvika has witnessed this all before, so she knew better than anyone the terror and despair in this invasion would bring. Yeah, despite that, she's still facing it head on. Had to abandon her homes and chase the dying light of day. Maybe the only time we'll see the dawn again is in our dreams. But as long as there is even a sliver of hope, I'm not going to give up, me neither. Let's go, we should catch up with the group. Want to be with the team that evacuated first. We're there, and anything new to see? This tumor and Keenage still has no new intel. And... Nothing new. Hmm. Some of this, and let's let Shulanan run over. We'll roller skate over. Relatively quick, and conserve our Fulgiston. Here we are, Kachina, Io. Oh, right, that's Kachina's tap. It was so great you made it here on Skate. Kinich came by just now with some really bad news. It was indestructible abyss things and been dropped by all the tribal territories. So it wasn't just the children of Echoes, even the collective plenty was affected, and they are the furthest away. But the worst affected region was the Flower Feather Clans, who said it's a complete disaster over there. What well, isn't that Chaska's tribe? She said she was going to take Kukyu home to rest for a while. Kinich didn't even stop to catch his breath before leaving for the stadium. He said he was going to try and assemble a team to go and support them, but. But, talk all, but how right? Everyone's struggling just to defend themselves. There's no spare manpower. We swear to what we want before even the stadium is indefensible. With everyone congregating in the stadium, the Abyss forces will start converging there too. Then there will be a battle on a scale much larger than anything we've seen so far. On the bright side, at least my old injuries aren't pulling up at the moment. It means I can actually join in with the fighting. It's a bright dancing fighting style. The crux of the issue is that the heart of the Abyss itself has joined the invasion. It's a power we just can't match. I have every faith in the courage of our people. The Nalan Ease will never give in to despair, but the fact is... Still, the fact is, our lives are often more fragile than our spirits. Can we purify? Traveler Pond knows what we're about to say. We have to go to the Flower Feather Clan. Yeah, Pond, I'm sure, is getting tired from all this playing, but it doesn't matter. Every go, Pond is going too. So the Pyro Arkham succeeds in the point. Every life we save is worth it. But it's not on the map yet, so we can't actually go there. So obviously, we're not going to end up going there. Yeah, I believe the children echo to you guys, Fire Brother Clan, hang in there, we're coming. Really, but you guys must be nearing the limit, surely. There was ever a time to push ourselves to the limit, that time is now. And. let me see. Wait, over there, it's Chasco and Kuiku. Defeat the monsters surrounding Chasco and Kuiku. It's the closest we can get then. Travel over here, hurry. Keenich is coming back. Gathering personnel based on Kachina's intel, Kinich wishes to return to the state of the Sacred Flame to gather people, come to the rescue of the tribes under abyssal attack, but in a chaotic moment such as this, it may be almost impossible to allocate manpower beyond the stadium's defense. Since there's all 13. Oh, but the reason no more deaths are showing is probably because we just don't have any intel anymore. Okay. So let's get our burning in. Thank you, and thanks. Alright, and. Keep that not so up. Thank you, and we'll shoot. Shoot and blast. Number four, good stuff. And another shot came out. Nice. Let's do some physical maybe. And one more shot will do it. Another. There we go. Chakta Chaska and... Bad news, it seems. This is the unfortunate moment we were all waiting for. Uh-uh. What happened to her? She's covered in abyssal energy. I'll help her, but... Well... <clears throat> Who 
before you save her. How's that Kuiku any better now? Kuiku Kuiku? Well... You can cry, it's okay. Chaska, I used to think mom and dad were crazy for adopting me. I was a younger sibling, but I always felt like it was my job to help mom and dad take care of you. I thought I could set you free from the abyssal energy you struggled with. So that's the first mention of Chaska's internal corruption, it seems, which is probably... People said it's probably why her outfit is so asymmetric. Maybe because of, because of the purple hair, too. I guess I was pretty full of myself, huh? Think I could fix it? Went well, they were always the same. Hush, quick, quick, put those thoughts right out of your mind. We'll be at the stave in no time, okay? I'll carry you there. The abyssal contamination is gone there. Just rest and you'll get better. I was always nagging you to slow down, stop rushing headlong into things. Ran out of strength long ago. I just didn't want anything to happen to you or to anyone else because of you. I've worried about you so much, but now I realize I never, never really understood what it's like for you. The fact that you survived an abyssal contamination was a miracle, but it also left you in a constant state of agitation. The fact that we become family was another miracle. But with me worrying about you all the time, it feels like I just agitated you even further. Navia? No, absolutely not. Nothing can be further from the truth. Do you hear me? All you ever did was love me, same goes for mom and dad. I've always known that and I feel terrible. Because I really did want to get along as a family. It might take me some time, but I'll find a way to make it work. I'm so sorry, Kuku. They were meant to make you feel this way. So okay, Chaska, no need to apologize. You didn't do anything wrong. No one did. It's nobody's fault that things didn't turn out great. Nobody's bad. I get it now, so no nagging from me this time. You keep forging ahead, sister. Never slow down and never hold back. Spread your wings and fly free like the fiercest cougar swarm in the sky. So the world be the bravest far feather warrior it is. Because that's who you are, and that's the sister I'm proud of. I'm crying a little. Da -da. She's the Animo. Does this mean this is where she gets her ancient name? Or... One last tear. Kuiku, Kuiku. Kuiku. Can we say it a fourth time? Da da da. Uh uh. This. Oh, her abyssal power is surging. Oh, goodness. This. Oh. Uh, what is this going to mean? Chaska? Docenta? What's happening? Da da da. Back under control, but. What happened? I think she's okay now. Let's give her some space while she cools down. What was that just now? It looked like abyssal energy was flowing out of her, but then a split second later it disappeared. Cheska managed to rein it in. Kuku did say that Cheska needs a lot of steam now and then, or she'll end up losing herself. This time she rested back in control, just like Kuku always hoped. If only you were faster, dealing with the abyssal contamination is a piece of cake for you. You could have gone to her earlier than you could have treated her before, or before it was too. Wait, what's happening to Chaska? And this is her awakening as a hero. Yep. I feel like that <laughs> there's way too much. You know, she already had her animo vision. So they had to give her something else when she lost someone close to her, I suppose. They were healing way too close to this. But it, it... It does make me feel like... Every Animo character losing someone close to them is something predetermined, especially because of Venti's whole deal. What's happening to Chaska? 
And this mini lag, how unfair life can be, she's held the outstacked against her from the very beginning. New step forward has been an agonizing one. Maybe she would have been better off embracing her pain. Big ol' hammer. But her journey goes on, and one question looms large in her mind if she could rise above the waves of pain and ascend over the dark quads of her mind, what then would she find? Maybe the glorious light of sin, maybe a dark, empty void, there's only one way. Yeah, to find out she needs to spread her wings and soar to new heights, that's the true meaning of life. 500 years ago, only two saw a shorter name. Or are? My life's suffering shall be my epitaph. And Manilak is the flower feather hero from Talking Stick, whose companion was Nagobo, who's a big Kukasaur boss around here, to remember the pain I endured. Finally transcended. Da da. Final hero has awakened. Let's take Kuku somewhere safer. And Shasuka take Kuku back to the stadium. And. But now we have the power to fight back. Well, they want Pieta with this. Well, it's the opposite orientation. Please take care of Kuku for me. I still have more important things to do. Komina, of course, we are grateful for her service. Yeah, she serves selflessly. I'm sorry, Chaska. It's so, alright, I'm far from the only one going through this right now. Kuku wanted to be a hero, and in my heart, she always will be. I want to honor what she stood for, not to mention her sacrifice. Malvika, we need to hurry. Oh, this time she did say Injin Sama. Did say Fire God. That's how serious it is. Mm. Time for this war to end. Head to the center of the stadium to witness the gathering of heroes. And... Hinoja's back. Nothing on the island over here, because again, the island even appearing is actually optional. No healing spawning this time. My well is here now. Okay, you're back. So saddest, do we have enough medical supplies left? She's spraying, we're almost out. There's still the emergency supplies, but they're reserved for the doctors and soldiers. We can't touch those. I know, I know. Right, well, I'll give you my share at least. Ah, oh, too, glad to see you're both online. How's your son doing? No idea. Communications have drawn up, and there are too many wounded people to attend to. I know my focus is on them. But I trust him. I know he'll make the right call. Even when the going gets tough, he's my son, and I'll always be proud of him. He's definitely dead. I'm so grateful Mayavel is here with her expertise. We're able to treat a lot more people. And when she's overdoing it, she hasn't stopped this whole time. I need to get someone else to step in so I can persuade her to take a break. I wonder what Eva's doing. So over this Fligasin lamp is a Fligasin crystal, but the healing bubble was over the paint for some reason. Komina? May the wild grant you peace, and may songs be sung of your life's journey. Your thanks for the gift of your wife and hours. We look forward to meeting you again one day in a world of wonder and beauty. Will any of these open right now? No. Maya, well. I trust him, I know him like a right call. I'll get some out already. And over there is the gathering of heroes. The ending of all this. Can't go outside? No, we can go outside, but nothing to see right now. So it opens that way. Well, me too. Young Yumkasaur. Roar. Lots of Yumkasaur rescued. You made it back. Oh, that's such good news. Roar, roar. But if we had a transformation, we'd be able to talk to them, but don't have a Sorin to Indra. 
You know, at least, at least that one survived. I was so in Yoba, the people we saved. Well, hey, you guys, thanks again for rescuing us. Or so I will go to say thank you to these heroes. Thank you. But I'm mentioning just glad you're okay. Also, guys, say thank you to the other people who helped us, whether called Fat Chewy, the Chewy. Yeah, that's it. The Vitui, they were also amazing. Yeah, in the past, my impression of the Vitui wasn't exactly positive. This has really changed my perspective. These people can be found in every organization. Yeah, Vitui re rehabilitation has basically been fully set up now. God, we encouraged before it was room crew. What's you two? I thought we'd never see each other again. I put up a good fight and we won, even though it cost us a dearly. Gonna keep fighting, if so, please be careful. It's finally this is a great honor. The path to victory lies not in honor and glory, but in surviving until the next morning. All these people, Guaman, Walker, Ashoka, Kunok, and Libyank. People fleeing from the sounds of the canopy made it. You're okay, thanks goodness. We were worried sick about you guys. So we made a safety hut. Was it a smooth journey? I'm not exactly. We ran into a bunch of this monsters. Had to fight for our lives, but I got handed to these folks. You know, rose to the occasion. They fought every bit as well as trained warriors. I guess the old muscle memory is still intact. If we're very lucky to be alive, we have to keep surviving, so we can start to take back what we've lost. I was very make sure you keep surviving, too. Come on, won't talk. Those guys won't talk. Water, okay. To witness the gathering of heroes. All the banners have been moved from the speaker's chamber into here. Yansan, Shionen, Oraron, Keenich, and M Milani are already here, so we're bringing in Chaska. Okay. <clears throat> Everyone already ready. The four is still a bit busted up from the Capitan of Week of Mavica Flight. A better war lies ahead, or victory begins in each of your minds. So ignite the spirit of victory for me. Yep. May no further lives be lost, and no one else may to suffer the loss of their loved ones. As long as blood still runs through your veins, even the tiny spark of steel against stone could ignite a flame. Moja. Its ways will become one with the gaze of all not one. Even amid everlasting darkness, our bonds remain eternal. Let's see all the heroes here. It'd be f honestly, they should all get stands. Stone engraved in echoing peaks. Converge, disperse, and ashes be reborn. Oh, it's great. That was one that was the one thing that was really mentioned about him in the talking stick war from a year ago that he was giant. And they made him giant. Who flames born anew and the boys and gone. Baraka, and that'd be Sunshata. Chief of the mines. The hero scared the volcano to seize the sun. It's O W. See that Latin script. Yonsan, ancient name. Possible ancient name. Latin-based script. Latin-based language. And that's... An O? Is that a... No, it's a U. W. And a... UWZ. And that UWZ, you know, it's not an ancient name. Let's always see UWZ. And Wanjiru's name is Knowing Power. Okay, Uwezo is presumed. So the guess that people have right now is Uwezo. Chaska's is Vuka. Sinjada. Suna and Sinjada. Chief of the Mines. Hero skilled the volcano to seize the sun. Who was? And yeah, hers is. Yeah, Uwezo, Uwezo, power. Okay. The Chama had to seek. It's another guy, but. Mongozo or Guidance is the one we're going to get. Just got the volcano to seize the sun. 
Oh god, this specially colored night soul, which is basically a flame colored vision, anointed with flame, she shone with a light of a thousand stars. That'd be Wanjiru. Let me see. Tupac, Sinjata, and Wanjiru, the runner. I hope she's good. And this is Yawanjiro. Yeah, now guide me in my first step. Having foretold his own death, the omniscient man holds a few in celebration. Because, yep. Presumably, but this is more purple than white, really. Hmm. It's got a bit of cryo blue in it, I suppose. But that said, he's Electro himself, so yeah, his knights would be Electro, right? Sun Hodge holds a feast in celebration. Sun Hodge would be a Forseer, presumably. I guess so. Let us raise our cups in honor of his heroism and send him off as his final tribute. What's well, Kuiku who got the Pieta treatment? For at once his wish is now fulfilled. My past fuel and present flame, life marches ever, marches ever on. Saw a bit of this, that's. MLP, I think, Malipo. We saw Burkina, and we heard this quote in his story quest, too. We will answer to the fire for all our deeds. Our suffering shall be my epitaph, and yep, got the green for animal. To remember the pain I endured and finally transcended. This would be... Menelik, Menelik, Menelik. It's Menelik, Wanjiro, Burkina, Tupac, Sanjata, Sanhaj, the six heroes, and then... Heroes of the ages, or moment, has finally come. It's so funny seeing Tupac behind Milani. Moja? The fire streaming into the center. The unite is one. Baptized by the Churn Fire, Variation, Blessing, Baraka, Ring True Power, Uezo, Accepting Fate of Ocean, Biri, Embrace the Transcendent Flame, Ruka Transcendence from that one. Nintendo Tameni. Big Pillar of Flame. Giant sun in the sky to oppose the dark sun. Name of Harlock on Hibernian. The night war is underway. The order of resurrection will guard all life. The war is over. And. Let's see. What is next? So they've all got Pyro Night Soul basically right now. That aura we saw. As an outright scary level of power. So from now on, all warriors will be able to resurrect themselves using the Sacred Flame. So this means Malvika is at least at risk of dying now. That's right, no more casualties. Or deaths. It's so time to wipe the enemy off the face of the earth. To reclaim our lost territory. It's for all those who give their lives for not one. Everyone, let's go. Oh, we'll come with you. We're gonna go to that void in the sky, or... Traveler. Paimon? I'm so grateful you got to us when you did. You have Kuku the chance to say those words to me before the end. But lost control out there in the wild, this counterattack might never have been possible. Hongeki. Reverse attack. Probably not... That's not to think about that. Well... Targeted attack, I suppose. More importantly, how are you feeling now? Any better? Not really, but now's not the time to deal with it. In the spirit of Vuka, a transcension, I have to rise above it. The conflict and suffering in me are there to test my character. A struggle will make me stronger. A little skeletal, actually. Interesting. Didn't notice that on the glove. Make me the person Kuiku believed I can be. I have faith in you. Alright, let's go show the abyss what human beings are made of. We started the mess of now and after we're through with them. And... Final quest? 
No one fights alone. Abuse tumor. Mark of Gosathoth. Beat the monsters and clear the abyssal pylons. Six heroes have gathered, and Malvika awakens the power of the divine throne. When it's sounded for all not one to hear, the night war is underway, a reckoning has come for the abyss. Gosathoth. Check what everyone else is doing right now. That. Gosathoth. Okay, Gosathoth. Gosathoth is the heart of the abyss. Ah, okay. Named after. Oh! Goisathoth is an anagram of Yog Sothoth from the Cthulhu mythos. So it's outright Lovecraftian. Okay. Kachina and Shilinen, companions in combat. Contact. We're currently clearing up an Abyss Tumor near the Children of Echoes. You can use the power of the Wailets to communicate with them. The Abyss Tumor can be effectively damaged now that you've been granted Malvika's power. This is influence is great when you see a few monsters in the area. Great work, don't worry, we're unstoppable. Ah, fun. We are, is that also a compliment towards me? Yeah, yeah, we are unstoppable. Honestly, may as well be, I guess. And we've already talked to them. Okay, the okay they just repeat that dialogue. Moani. Mo companions in combat, Moani is currently cleaning up an abyss tumor near the people that springs. You can use the power of the wilds to communicate with her. I do like that they put down different monster types there, even though we'll never actually see them. This will like to be dire, but we've gotten that side of her. No one says disordered. This won't go up. It was her staying there. <clears throat> Did you guys see that huge fireball? It exploded right over my head, above my head. So I'm Moani, I'll adjust my aim! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're good. Archon didn't hurt at all, plus it was friggin' cool. Sugoku Kakilakata. Cool and good. I didn't see that last part. Okay, we can be happy again. Okay, I missed a ton of bit of dialogue. Well, and telepathy is interesting. What did I miss? What did I miss? Not great for her eyesight, though. Oh, yeah, because it's the power of the sun. And Kinich, Oro, and Satali are coming to the rescue of the Masters of Nightwind's encampment. And Oro's there. Okay, everyone's safe. Granny, please go on ahead with the others. I just need some time. I promise I won't hold things up. Oro, we have the vegetables and aphids behind you. Dim one, it's too dangerous. Kono Anbontan. That! There's more of that than you might expect, honestly. Malvika, Habaran the Pyro Archon. Habaran Mansion. Malvika has used the power of the Divine Throne to trigger a special night war here in Smorth. All who sacrifice themselves will be guided back by the Ode of Resurrection until the war's end. Is it something to report? Not yet. I know, Paman. Just suddenly wanted to hear your voice. That's cute. Alright then. And Chaska is dealing with monsters near the Flower Feather Clan. Guttural growling. Chaska can research to suppress beasts. Rushi is even scarier than the monsters were fighting. I wish. Maybe we'll get an abyss Chaska ult eventually, but I really do wish to see a bit more of that in the way she fights. She's fun. Ah, and we can use the power of Valet to communicate with him. Fighting Fatui. Captain is willing to use Fatui to defeat more monsters out in the wild. Are we secure? What's her status? Gusel Makov, saw before, commander, we're facing a huge wave of monsters who can see urgent backup. Knowledge I'm 200 meters out, I'll fight my way to you. Nice. Go! Commander, all enemies neutralized, falling in. And well, like that, we're able to aim, and well, we probably should have burned that. Looks like we can hold their own to spawn, yep, you, you know it. And shoot, and... Nothing will come in me! And, well, we can just... Do a few more hits here, I guess. So we destroy those pylons, we can probably get a tumor afterwards, presumably. Main thing is... Fire is a good way to destroy it. And I'm burning aerial support from Mavica. And I... How powerful she is now, it's borderline unfair. And, well... Look around that and keep those burnings coming and shoot. 
didn't really, I didn't really see any aerial support there, honestly. There we go. Okay, let's get her burning up again. Fire down, and... Can each again in a second. That burning's real good at taking that out. Thanks, and... Well, go around that, and shoot. Blast. Blast. Fire on enemies is good. Use my power to destroy the abyss tumors. Look up, go a support. Thanks for the backup. Gonna get a tutorial, or... What? Got some burning? Maybe. No, not really. Okay. Either way, I would imagine that Night Soul should be especially good against it. And, yep, it is. Yep. There we go. Got one down. Fun. Get the monsters and clear the Abyssal Pylons. Board the Spirit Way. Ah. Milani time. There we are. Moving over to... Next spot. Second Abyss Tumor. The end of the Pyroarch and Mavica, you're finally able to destroy the Abyss Tumor, fight hard, and push the Abyss back. Shield by Abyss Pylons, that must first be destroyed. You guys see that huge fireball? It's better right above my head, so he's soaring the village to hedge in the next location. Okay, so the dialogue seems to pop in even if we don't do it. Okay, cool. On its own eventually. Ms. Will drags the Abyss new before the Almighty Dragon Kuhu Ahau. Ah, uh, Ahau's coming way too hard. Is it possible to mute him? How dare you, insolent contemptuous. Done. Oh, she can mute him? Thank you, Mavika. You let him pause about what it is. Okay, well. Backup is arrived. Alright, give him help. Vengeance for Kuku. And we'll keep on. Shoot it down, and there we are. Shoot. And just a couple more. Thank you. Shoot. There we are. One tumor down. A couple more to go. And that one is. Still got some shielding, right? Yep. Still got shielding, which means. Not still time. Oh, you've already got that there already. Okay. Burning was good to take you out. Enemy ranks are thinning. Time to double down. And. Now we're linking to this. And Pyrock on power and show no mercy. Can we target? Not that well with Milani, okay. Let's actually just let you try to take it out. That, well, your damage is nothing to really be proud of, oh well. And we can just finish you off with you and then then. There we go, cool. And that's restored. Board the spirit way again. I wonder if they could give us grapples next time. Very pro Moani bias here. Fair enough. And we sprint on. Jump on that. It's good. He's moving around and where Keenish is there now too. We're clearing up all this mist. Commands in combat, Keenich is currently, currently cleaning up an abyss tumor out in the wild. Our oh, dear Mavic of Renton Island's warriors are deaf over here. I'll send you up, it'll be quicker. <laughs> Rhea, this is just like riding a spear away. That dog interrupted the other dialogue. Now it's my turn to go turbo to ruin. Oh, we can even see into sulfurous veins. Right, everyone save. Okay, we've seen that already. Why is that repeating? Guess it's semi randomized, maybe? Mm. What is Kinich gonna say then? Third of his tumor? Okay, yep. Yeah. Until Mavica prevent Nalan's words from the death of the battle cries, the almighty dragon Kuhu Aha. Just thought of passing on, our house currently venting his anger on the Abyss monsters. Okay. So, final one, and, well, is it? Fireballs from Malpica. It's taken out the pylons. And then the tumor, too, or shield's broken. What else? It's already there. Hey, you're back. Ah, oh, that sacred film has got me pretty fired up. I'm ready to butcher a whole army of monsters. And... Death's not the tips or charge, let's give them everything we've got. Sure, battle for intel with your companions. 
That was quick. Abyssal activity strong. Wayland status dented. Deaths are going down. Oh, so people are coming back. It seems active monsters down to 2,562. Total deaths down to 1,968. The children of Mecca's territory secure. All monsters down. I'll go deal with the Abyss tumor. Why can't they got a different kind of dialogue like bot bowl? All good here, the people of Springs too. We crushed it. Shigeki Bay and one strike. Master of the Nomad are also safe. Shall I go support the Flower Feather Clan? Things are still pretty rough over there. I'm already in route. No need, I just dealt with it. Already, but you were just at the stadium. Yeah, well, you have no idea how long I've been itching to bash some heads in. Oh, fair enough. You know what you do about the collective appointing? Your home's a long ways away from the stadium. Oh, need to worry? I just heard from Varisa. She says they're safe now. Sounds like all regions are secure. The Abyss forces are weakening. Take the fight to the big rift. Yeah, the only game plan was to outnumber us, and that ain't gonna work now that we have the Order of Resurrection on our side. Well, Buffy Abyss is sending a sizable unit towards the stadium. Yes, they realize that the Order of Resurrection is a game changer, so now they're going to try to destroy the Sacred Flame. We ain't gonna let them get away with that. Friends, let's gather at the stadium. She said everyone, really. Well, the best tumors have descended all near the stadium. Let's split up and take them out. Oh, we need someone to guard the main entrance. Allow me. All right, this is the final battle. And... Where are we now? Your resurrection. Hold the gate. Repel the final attack. You're all around here. And the Goisoitha is already there. Yansen is doggedly battling the abyss outside the stadium as its offensive surges. Shonen ranges beyond the stadium's bound, fighting valiantly to hold the abyss's general offensive up to defend the stadium. The captain is engaging the abyss's odd attack and fierce fighting outside the stadium. Kinish presently fights outside the stadium, sending the abyssal ties as it surges in. Moan and Kachina are at the stadium's outer boundary, fiercely holding the line against the abyss's odd attack. Ron is doing all he can to hold out back the abyss's unbridled assault beyond the stadium's bounds, and Chask is nowhere, but now we've got the sun in the sky opposing the abyss over there. Fun. Let's do this. And another one of you. Okay, let's get you burning again. Burning is our best way to knock you down for not one. Nothing will come in me, and just a couple more, and we'll shoot. Mm, that had some weaknesses and the flora. There we go, gone. It really does. See the sun up there for not one. Sun up there and the rift over there. And we got you. Okay, alright. And let's just take you out then. One more and. Alright. And rift out now for not one. I. Let's actually get. Some hydro to crystallize or something. Well, that didn't fly good. Okay, and... One. Hit. And just a couple more. Strikes. And, uh, well, another. Thank you. Good. Now we got more Kazmic Mimophora. Oh, goodness. All right. Thank you. And we hit all of you at once. And another shot. Keep on blasting you down. And there we go. Number four, die, 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 and oh my goodness, lots of these. It's so, it's fun. I like it. Not a bad thing, is it? Not soul weakness, and well, number four are back. Once the shields are gone, well, come on, well, keep shooting. Oh, oh, those are her hits, destroying everything. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that's Malvika's fireballs destroying your shields. And you're right here now. And hit. Come on. Oh my goodness. More Memophora? Oh goodness. Okay. Oh, that shield's gone. Wow. Okay, burning bear and hit. Something more. There we go. We're fighting. The Fatoya are helping out too. What's next? Malvika herself is going to take on the Abyss here. Punch Beam. 
good sort of ranch powder on it. And... Pose off that rift. And yet this is where she punches the sky open. So presumably that's where the abyss is coming from. Well, one of the three. There are three moons. There's the... Sky is fake. There's a moon in the sky, there's the crimson moon, and then there's the moon you see in Spiral, yes. And presumably those correspond to the three moon sisters. Yeah. Well, the main thing is that... Some people think Paimon might be a moon sister. We won! Kata! Ah, we won! Well, I'm not, we'll see. I'll test that. Got her a little bit of wrap up now. It was cute. I liked it. Mina. Everyone who we were gathered here to celebrate a glorious victory. It is a victory forged by each and every one of us, and we should all be proud of what we have accomplished. The merge of tourists from another crisis is declared, our beloved not one is saved. For now. As Marum, all right. We must caution that this war is not yet over, we have not destroyed our enemy. We will drive them further into the depths of the Night Kingdom. So presumably that's where we go next time. But the Abyss underestimated Nalan's forces, and they have suffered a devastating defeat. It will be a long time before they were able to pose a threat to us again. After making some preparations, I will launch my final counterattack. She'll strike them in their lair and wipe them out for good. Oh man. Hanu? An Archon, you're saying you're going alone? She wants to die. I see Abyss energy. If there was too strong, contact with it would be instantly lethal to anyone else. Sure, you're all still fired up, and you must be eager to take the fight home to the enemy. But I must ask you to temper your ambitions. I will return victorious for all of us. It's kind of a shame that we can't join in with the final showdown. Please look at the bigger picture. Thanks to every one of you, we've already secured an enormous victory. Now we should celebrate to our heart's content. Well, it's... The point is, she's obviously not going to end up going in there alone. Because it's it would be deliberate suicide, and nobody's going to let her do that. I guess if our lives are no longer at risk, things can basically go back to normal, right? It's good enough for me to beat something monsters everywhere. The time comes, I will gather everyone here again. Now let us also remember those who gave their lives fighting for our nation. So as to the abyss of Marta, I intend to give them the grand funeral they deserve. An ancient name could never record them. Okay. Many who we lost, but no hero not one should be forgotten. If I may, let's have a moment of silence for the fallen. Da-da-da. Da-da-da. Well, lastly, there's one more person I must thank for his extraordinary support in our time of need, and that is the captain. <laughs> yep. Speaking in a personal capacity, I would, would like to offer my sincere congratulations on your victory. Well, everyone, please enjoy the victory feast. I hope it's a chance to relax your minds and rekindle your spirits. So that we may face what lies ahead with renewed vigor. If you'll name Fate, talk to Malvika, and the victor shall burn bright. And, but... Who will be reduced to ash? Before dawn breaks, only by joining together can we find the light. The victor shall burn bright. At last, once more, victory heralded not one's path. And optional objectives. Orvon and Capitano. And this is what gets us. Is that not the end? I don't see a cornerstone of stars and flames. The threat to Nalan remains unresolved for the Abyssal Tide you shattered was but a reflection emerging from the Night Kingdom. So more crisis awaits, so more solitude and death. Reflection. <clears throat> I must congratulate you on your efforts during this one. I am told you have proven yourself to be an outstanding adventurer and warrior. Or an adventurer. You remind me of the princess, the similarities in your approach are striking, especially when you told me you wanted to win. I hope you will see her soon, thank you. Hey Oron, how are the masters of the night one doing? 
But it's Tolly's been, been there the whole time. She's a tough one. I think we should be fine. Sure, there'll be some patching up to do, though. That's a job for the young folks. I should probably head back so I can pitch in. Do you need support from the Fatui? Yeah. Probably not. There are a lot of older folks in our tribe. I suspect they would find her comrade's presence a little distressing. He's just comfortable in his masculinity. That's what's going on. Rutkas often look like a bunch of intimidating thugs. Well, also, my tribe excessive use of elemental energy is bad for your eyesight. A rather case, so someone may, may be blindness in prophecy. That's a common association in folklore. I'm still somewhat in disbelief that the United People prevailed against the abyss. What sense of regret in your words? Well, it's more... He's giving other people compliments. A degree of regret is inevitable, but above all, I feel profound admiration. Okay, Yansa and Kinich. Kinich, you are one lucky devil. I don't know how the heck you're still alive. Hmm? I'm in a zero tolerance mood right now. Stop being so flippant. Unless you want to get punched in the face. What is it with you? Ah, how are you so incapable of being nice? Oh, this is rich. I didn't care. If you want me to give you another warning, I can do it. A measly victory and so gone to your head. If you all you miss meet my nap, not for the heroic deeds and the mighty dragon with cool aha. Uh -huh. Red credit with credits too. Here's much of grapes for your trouble. Don't treat me like your pet parrot. How are the sons of the canopy and the collective of plenty? The messengers are the worst affected. I expect there would be delays in all deliveries and knowledge for some time. But fortunately, a lot of people have said they're willing to help out part time. That should alleviate the situation. The collective of the plenty was the furthest from the abyss's entry points. So they didn't have as many monsters to deal with. From what I hear, they got off relatively unscathed. But it might have been a different sort of Chaska hadn't gotten there, but she did. Let's go to here as well, that ends well. Oh, well, what do you know? These are pretty tasty. I'll serve it more a bunch of grapes post haste. Okay, Polly the parrot. Goodness. Everyone else is enjoying the celebration, but Alhouse still being as aggravating as ever. So if it's ship on a soldier, what's about? Well, Electra plus Dentro is aggravating. Fairness repeating such a few, few set phrases out nauseam as all parrots know how to do. I'm not a parrot, I'm the almighty dragon, Kuho Ahau. What was this consolation again? It was. Chimera Alabrius. Draconic Chimera or something. This is all three of them. You did a great job, Kachini. You're much more confident now. It seems like winning the pilgrimage gave you a real boost. And now I just figure I should do my part, you know? I spoke to your mom and dad. They were singing your praises. They said the world's your oyster now. How are things to the people of the spring's base? There's some casualties, but the overall mood is pretty positive. I reckon they'll start rebuilding pretty soon. Some situation with the children of Echoes. Still, it's so sad that some people couldn't be saved by the Ode of Resurrection. I think I want to hold the candlelight vigil for them when I get home. Oh, that's great idea. Let's do it together. Let's hope there was sacrifice marks the beginning of a new age from that one, an age of unprecedented peace. If you're making candles, up some materials I can use, then the warehouse should have plenty to spare. Okay, I guess I'll guess for Trifle and Wayne then, or a good point, I'll go instead. Moani has. Moani doesn't say anything herself. Okay. Newstone Kispe. They don't have anything to say. So what you're saying is that they're self-conscious and cowardly. Mavika? Any new answers? Oh, welcome. You seem a little out of sorts, or are you just tired or? Guess I am, you know, when I was up there in the sky, I could see all the melons stitching out below me. People everywhere giving everything they had for a chance at victory. Just if only I'd been quicker, maybe they wouldn't have been quicker, maybe she'd still. I'm sorry, now's not the time for that. Uh, fruit juice, right? Make it a large? At least it's over now, that's something. True, my 500 year plan has almost come to fruition, just one last step to go. Maybe my final battle against the Abyss, but battle second nature to me, so I'm not feeling a huge amount of pressure. So awesome the way you exploded that thing in the sky with one almighty punch. Are you always going to have that kind of power from now on? Oh, but that was the Divine Throne and reaching my full potential, and it was only temporary. I can't wield that power for any length of time, my body wouldn't be able to handle it. Well, th it's the same one as before, okay? It's one mentioned last patch. Likewise, the Amplified of Power of the Ode of Resurrection was also temporary, from now on it's back to Ancient Name Bearers only. I'm guessing the Night Warden Wars are over for the foreseeable future. 
Correct, but don't leave us a critical blow. For the time being, it's too late to sustain regular invasions. I hope the people will be able to enjoy this period of peace, or rather, assuming all goes to plan, eternal peace. That centuries of war, the abyss, and its high time brought that chapter to a close. Oh, okay. Fiona. Well, it... I would imagine that pretty much everyone other than Nahida and Raiden do... And Raiden arguably did have one, even if it was just literally hide away from the world and hope other people handle things for her. Since she's worthy of this, tell me about that chapter of history to close. Anyway, there's something I've been wondering about. I know you've been in the center of some major events in other nations too and fought many powerful foes. Other stories, Mulagatari. In this war, you were in the thick of it once again, dashed around tirelessly, supporting and fighting on all fronts. Tell me what drives you to do this as your travel passing through. Why not my wife wife and went for a cause that's her own? So I can look back at my journey to the world concerts. I just can't turn a blind eye to just because Pama hates to see people suffer. You know, it's a mindset that distinguishes the heroes in every story. They're the natural protagonists. I'm really trying to say is I would love for you with your extraordinary talent, your sense of justice, to join me in this final step. You and I, for together, finally putting an end to the ever looming threat of the abyss. But I also don't want to take advantage of your good nature and nature and readiness to help others. Final battle will be very dangerous, and you have the rest of your journey to consider. I'm sure you must be weary, sleep all the night. Let's talk again tomorrow in the speaker's chamber. I'll give you more details on the final battle, and then I hope to hear your verdict. You're chatting to return to your room to rest. My mind is so full of scenes from the war, I can't get the images out of my head, and maybe I need another drink. Okay, and. They don't have anything to say. Let's rest and see what happens next. Some fun fights. I do like the new shields because Kinich is so good against them. Burning and Kinich take them down real well. Go to the speaker's chamber to look for Malvika. And is anyone still here? Everyone is gone. V2 so. Actually, no. What's your limits? Okay. Muncy and Sky, so fish, meat, and fowl, presumably. Okay. Move the in and close this out, I presume. I know there's another sort of cliffhanger cutscene at the end of all this. Let's see what happens. And, well, the best way would be to. Ocelot form, if at all possible. That worked. Okay. A little annoying climbing up that thing. Easier than it was with the Chino, though. Outside. Oh, so tall is here. Hello. Hey, Traveler Pama. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Not that you'll die. Wait. Oh, hey, so tall. What's up? It's enough. I have something really important to tell you. So tall, you quickly explains her concerns about Mavica's death. What? Are you serious? So Mavica still has to die. Now I must make the pay the price for Mavika's use of the ruler of death's power. The price is death, and only Mavika's death can clear the debt. This line near the end of the quest is actually in that trailer for this version. I had thought that the ruler of death might have a change of heart after seeing the people of Nalan come together and fight so bravely, but even now that the war is over and the threat to Nalan is gone, it looks like that death is still set in stone. I had to know your thoughts. I want to save her, but I can't do it alone. I'll see what I can do. Okay, good. That makes me feel a little better. Thank you for standing up for us. There's clearly something special about you, so if anyone has a chance to define the rules, that would be you. Yeah, but a sender has the power to defy the rules. And please don't breathe a word of this to Mavika. Just like the narcissism for stuff. I'm sure she's well the cost of using the divine throne's power, but if she finds out that anyone else knows, it could ruin our chances to help. Got it, mum's the word. What about Dad? Alright, that was the last major item on the to-do list. Now since I've come all this way, I think it's finally time for a well-earned drink. Ah, uh, go easy though, yeah? That could easily be part of it. I definitely think of it. Given that the Loom of Fate was mentioned earlier, that it, and that Capitano knows the Abyss Twin, that somehow we might get the Abyss Twin involved to help out at least temporarily. Don't worry, I said age drink. That means just one. How big and how strong, though. I, I don't know. Sinjata? That Sinjata are able to munch him. If you keep pestering, I'm going to have to get serious. I got a hundred kids a day telling me they want to be the next power archon, so why should I train you? 
trained by the Geo Chieftain. Yeah, yeah. Gonna be a leader. Sundaki isn't going to accomplish anything. No one can predict the future. Unless he has some exceptional draw talking talent I'm unaware of. I can shoot those cornflakes in your kitchen from my dear shooting. Corn chip or corn chips. Ah, oh, don't be ridiculous, you can make that shot from all the way over here. Wait, your body could hurt someone with that. Gonna be a bow, a gun, rocket launcher. I'll be, you made the shot. Sods of the canopy, raise them tough. Some real skill to be out there, little lady. Maybe really will be part of work on one day. Next is... Come on, this mindscape again. Feel named Fate, continue your journey. Apparently her stats in here are literally exactly the same as Zhongling's, which is really funny. Can't even run. Or can't dash. See this? Oh, Burkina. Young Burkina. I'm the first one of us to get an ancient name, and not just any ancient name, but Mollipo Turnfire. Let's see what would happen. That's me nicely. There's still time to join my team for the pilgrimage, you know. No need to scale, you lost and I won. It's no big deal. You want me to be happy for you when your turn comes right, so cheer up. I'll get my own ancient name soon enough, and it'll be an even better one than yours. So she's quoting herself. Oh, really? Well, good luck with that. One ancient name could be Mollipo Turnfire in our tribe. I'm not sure you don't mean Kyongozi Leader. So is that her ancient name, or are we inherit? Oh, so we would be inheriting her ancient name, maybe? Or... <clears throat> Next. Continue your, continue your journey in quotations. Fit in quotations, your in quotations. So who's journey in Wanjiri? Oh, that was fantastic. Fantastic. Can't believe I beat you in a wrestling match for once. Can't be more than a few days now until you officially made the Power Archon. Can't imagine me trying to schedule a wrestling session with you after that. She seems to be Power Archon, but will you be able to take a day off from running the nation and wrestle with me? Haha. Huh? Missing eye, too. I heard that the Power Archon inherits the knowledge stored in the Sacred Flame. And apparently can change your personality. I can't help but feel a little worried. Oh, because... Mavika was a different person before becoming Archon, more or less. Worried that you won't be able to beat me in a wrestling match anymore. Why would I be worried about that? I never mind, I'm just overthinking things. Why would you forget about me just because it's a new job? And that job happens to be Archon. Come on, one more round. Hmm. Don't imagine I can turn back here. It's her sigil up in the sky, then. Can go back, there's just no point to it. It's interesting. After the darkness will come the dawn and the keys. Car keys? We can only walk slowly. No one fights alone, I'm Salu. In Burkina, Sunjata. So they're all at different ages, because Sunjata was on Orsitina from that one. Nothing, not that many. Osmero, look at the sky, it's getting brighter at last. Are these people from the old times, or these? Either way, we got Mahavika's model moving around. Kuema, we walk the righteous path, and the power organ will guide us. Mentions the possibility of a new model for Malvika when she actually becomes playable, but who knows? Did you mean to say hot? Okay, now we can move quicker. Okay, okay. Renova, a ruler of death. The victor shall burn bright, while the losers must turn to ash. I have done what is required of me. The rules are now written to the Night Kingdom. This will help you to stand against the Abyss. So is that... Is the Pyro Gemstone quoting Renova rather than Mavuka or Shibalanka? It's really interesting. It is still not enough, Shibalanka. 
the flame. All this can do is give my people courage and will not see us through a true catastrophe. If you were to make the Nawanese alone bear the consequence of a broken world, you often bring more to the bargaining table. You are the greediest human I have ever met and the fiercest negotiator. No other would seriously ask to borrow my power. Sort of the... My domain is death and its power comes at a great price. The question is, are you prepared to pay? So I wonder, is the turn fire representation of Renova's power then? Or I need that power, only a hero can truly wield it. Heroes are not afraid of dying. <clears throat> No, a fear of death is ingrained in all living things. The wielder of this power cannot conquer their fear. Countless innocent lives will be claimed in their stead, for only then can the price be paid. Those are the rules. Kodagaruru. Find as a nation that will not yield to the abyss, it will certainly not yield to your rules. Constant rebellion. As their culture and civilization is transmitted through the generations and their faith grows, the people will go from strength to strength, and we try to that even chance that even I cannot dream of. Very well, I shall agree to help you, but I'm merely a shade. I do not have as much freedom to do as I please, as you might think. Then what do you propose? Keep this a secret. If I'm questioned about it, I will deny all involvement and claim the treacherous Shibalanke stole my power. Sort of Promethean men. It will not be a problem. Thank you. I'm glad we didn't reach an agreement. I wonder who his voice actor is. Now she can talk to us. Come in. Did get his voice. And that. Oh, Karayuki. Oh, Karayuki. See. He did not do anything notable. He's not famous at all. Not looking good for his playability. Come in. As you know, I've asked you to come here to discuss the task of wiping out the abyss. Oh, but first, I need progress on the ancient name. Received the gift from the Lord of the Night. I'm surprised she is willing to help you, and by extension me, I'm very grateful to her. Wait, hold on, wasn't the whole point of the ancient names for winning that huge battle? Why the travelers need one at this point? Because we might die fighting the abyss directly. Yep, because she wants me to join her in the final battle. That's right, the Abyss has retreated to the depths of the Mad Kingdom, a place that has long since been corrupted by Abyssal energy. If we don't finish them off and restore the Ley Lines, the threat they pose to not one will remain. The battle we fought yesterday, we may one day have to fight again. <clears throat> that is the fate Nalan has always been resigned to for thousands of years. We have struggled in the brink of a looming darkness, never known true peace. But this time I want to break the cycle and free us from this fate for good. With the sacred flame, I can protect myself from the abyss of corruption. But beyond that, you are the only other person who can resist it. If your ancient name can't be forged, I will go alone. But if I can, I'd really love your help. Is the of resurrection working again? Not completely, after all, the Night King is still plagued by abyssal corruption. But when I use the power of the Divine Throne, it dispels a lot of that corruption. Plus, your ancient name is a special case, so then Lord of the Night will take special care of you. Sure, the Ode of Resurrection still has a number of limitations, but I can promise that it will work reliably on you. Good, then I will join you in battle. Sounds like you're on your only option anyway. Well, 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 aren't we forgetting something here? Without Pyma, let's replace all this, you'll need to stay behind. What do you mean we'll be separated? The Abyss is extremely devious if you two don't go again. You bet they'll make Paimon their primary target just to put us in an impossible position. Paimon wasn't that worried, but now she's petrified. What will you do without me? I'll be a complete mess, I'm sure, but only for a short time. Okay, well, Paimon needs to think about this because you're really asking a lot of her. Make give Paimon some time, she'll be your best to rise at the challenge. I greatly appreciate it. Everyone in Notlin knows how important this final battle is. You will be remembered and revered along into the future, until the end of time. If you have any other questions, please ask away. Leave the speaker's chamber, but ask, yeah. 
As I've said, if you have any other questions, please ask away about the aftermath of the war. The work of rebuilding is underway, and people are flocking to join the effort with everyone we're on together. I'm sure it won't be long before there's no trace left of the damage done by this war. The healing process, on the other hand, that is a big obstacle, bigger obstacle to overcome. When you're grieving, there's simply no replacing the ones we lost. As the sun rises once more and we discover sun, we discover the ability to believe in the future, must never forget their sacrifice. Are they false sky the strange fragments? False sky, I've heard this expression before, but I think this was the first proof of its existence. I think there is a lot of investigating to be done to understand what the fragments behind the sky are and why they were hidden in the first place. However, from what the Adventurer's Guild tells me, neither the split sky phenomenon nor the fragments have ever been observed in the Anakith of Nation. Celestia's influence of the Abyss is, is weakest, Abyss is strongest. That'd be Piero. Piero... Piero was the one who originally said the sky was fake. He told Scaramouche to go there to see it with his own... to try to find it out with his own eyes. The origin point of that in the narrative is Piero, and arguably to Tori who probably also found out from Piero. My guess is that the Heavenly Principles once them kept a secret. I just hope they don't cause me any trouble over it. We should be fine. We did something much crazier back in Fontaine and we're still here. Thank you. Ah, uh, well, that's good to know. Anyway, the one I'm going with for the masses is an astronomical anomaly. I don't expect much of a backlash. Meanwhile, we can look into it at our own pace. Are they six years old? It wasn't their souls they saw, but a snapshot of them in time. All the work the ancient name engravers 1200 years ago made some special modifications to their names. The souls returned to the Night Kingdom long ago and will have been reborn not once since, albeit in a different form. But we know they may all may have already lived many new lives by now. So even though we will never meet again, we will always be by our side in one way or another. And that gives another way of meeting with a phrase no one fights alone. Now the captain. You have a temporary alliance, but I can tell that saving not one is not his only goal. Now common still is yeah, why saving not one would be so important to him in the first place. Unless he's just a good guy who wants to avoid another Conria, well that's part of it, yo. Know, but somehow Palmont doubts it, it's that simple. Yeah, I wouldn't worry too much. It's in all the interactions we've had with him and knowing more about his background. I have a lot of respect for him. I don't think he has any ill intentions. And we should focus on the final battle. I have no more questions. Okay. I think we'll see a little bit more of him real quick. Oh, but actually... I wonder what's up with her room. Can't go in right now. Hmm. Presumably still barren. <sighs> There we go. <sighs> yep, you'll all take it in, more to the night, and all the seaweeds, the island with deep ties to the slam returns. Deep ties, and this time he was alone, yep, because he knows Nightwind magic. Has some kind of night soul, it seems. The power that the Pyro Archon used to strike back at the abyss came from the ruler of death. What I know of her rule, she will demand death in return. <laughs> How do you know of this? I see, so the ruler of death sent you on your long journey. Yep, so, because since Night Soul is basically presumably related to Renova, the reason he has a similar kind of Night Soul is presumably because he's got power from Renova, too. No one still has a final battle to fight. I, too, have a final foe to face. And would that be Mavika afterwards, or...? For the sake of those countless lost souls, and I hope for not one's future, I need your help. Hmm. Guess we'll see what happens. Oh, and we got a letter in here from... Oh, probably quicker related. Should check that. <clears throat> I like that camera angle. Rainbow destined to burn, quest completed. And that. Got our cornerstone of stars and flames, a fuel named Fate. Let's check up there. Something that way. And, let me see, and... Yep, we have Sheelan's quest available, we'll do that tomorrow. Record penned by all. 
May the wild grant you peace, and may songs be sung of your life's journey. What follows is a list of names of the deceased denses of force written by those who mourn them. I see many a familiar name on it. Marta Vichama. But Vichama was the guy we found in the Night Kingdom. This run we tried to find the last quest. Bots, we got Kwiku Hunza. Give thanks for the gift of your life and ours, and we look forward to meeting you again one day in a world of wonder and beauty. And the Rainbow Destined to Burn, complete the Rainbow Destined to Burn. We can do another town domain, I think. No, it doesn't. Wiki disagrees, at least. Okay. I want to fight... Someone. I'm gonna fight Sappho again. Main thing is... I can do a few way lines, actually. Oh, Sappho's right here. How convenient. Hmm... I'm gonna try shooting a Navia team then. This is a pretty good team. Get her the serpent spawn back. Okay. And yep, she's got her spawn back. Good stuff. <clears throat> Navia is a fun way to fight her, but you need to be good at dodging. I can't manage this one on mobile. Well, as in, can't manage to swat on mobile with this team. Alright. Now we send it and shoo him in. And we put that down. Thank you. And we'll put that down. Thank you. And blast there. And shoot. I oh my goodness. I okay. Well, I. And I. Alright. And we dodge. Alright. Shoot. Shoot. One, two. One, two. Three, I... Mm, okay. Need some of that back, I think. Yeah, I... Not like that. We need to get some electricity on you again, too. And there we go. Thanks. Let's that down. Oh, I... Sorry to hear that. Put you down, and I... Well, we should have done it before, I guess, but... Alright, thanks. Oh, what? Right, that's the thing with this team, is that if Navia dies, well... Oops. It's pretty easy for her to die with Serpent Spawn and all. I will heal up and try that again. <sighs> I like that fight though. Especially with that team, but. This team does have some issues. Especially energy issues. And one, two. Nice. Some particles, and can I? One. Who am I shooting? Let's get some particles back. I. Thank you. Okay, let's try that one more time. It is a fun fight, but it's not a necessary one, I suppose. Oh. Ouch. 1 a.m. your time? Wow. Italy, man. And we'll... Thanks. Hit and there we go. Let's put this down. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. And hit and blast. And up. Two, three, and dodge. And can I dodge that? And we'll shoot again. And dodge. One, two... Three, I should get another hit in, probably. That's a battery, some of you guys. And we'll shoot one more time. It. Okay, thanks. And hit. Cross that down. And thank you. Crack it. Thank you. Give me. First up or not. Okay, huh? Annoying. Thanks. That down again. And official. And shoot. One, two, three. What? Sleep? Two, three, one, two, okay. Now we shoot it in. One, two, 
Thank you, and Navia. Alright, and we miss entirely. Oh, okay, well. It's a little more complicated than that, I think. And, uh, well, okay. That annoys me. Come on. And stay out of the way, me, please. And we. Alright, put you down, and then we miss that. I hate that, and whatever. Two, three, four, and we'll crystallize that, and one, two, three, break that down, thanks, and we'll crystallize that. It's taking longer this time for some reason. I did this fight before and it wasn't as bad, and I don't know what made the difference. Okay, cool, and we'll grab that again, and thank you. Official, and I, all right, shoot. What? what? Really? Yeah, this team is just badly suited for this fight in a number of ways. Whatever. It. Everyone's got the right weapons. It's just a bad day for me. Well, whatever then. I guess it, it might just be a crit luck thing. I did it before and it was a lot of fun. I think I was just getting luckier with crits. Honestly. In that case, I'm just gonna do three ley lines for experience so I can... You know, get a few levels on Dory and Layla just so I can feel them in theater. When I do theater. Which is, I got... How much time to do theater? Uh, I got this week. I'll be okay. Alright. Mm -hmm. You in. She went in getting this going on. Is good for that. And yeah. Thank you. And this should be really good here. And damages. Yep. Truly ridiculous. And you got fire on your own. No, you don't. Okay. Alright. There we go. I, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're on. And. Next up. One down there. Shun and Milani Demon actually work pretty well there. I might try that. I do like that fight. I do like fighting Sappho. I do like that Milani also has that slightly different plunging attack with a funny pufferfish. Okay. Ooh, there we are. We Thank you. Did not need to do that actually, I guess, but okay. Thank you, and Milani. Have a burning grass, and everyone's around there, and should be enough to take you all out. More or less, more or less. Thank you, and we almost one missed the crit, and there we go. Cool. Nice. Okay. Not a lot of forgiving. Hmm. Yep, a few levels for Layla and. Dory, just for theater. You know what? Perfect chance to grab that. Why not? There we go. And grab and pull myself there. Cool. Got a bit of forgiving from something. And we'll. Thank you, dear. Dear down, and that miss. Burning Grass should be good for that one. And we'll take you out too, and got the warriors, and cool. Nice. Very, very good. Thank you, and means the only things left would be what's left. Oh, I didn't do any mining. Guess I'll just break a few things with a claymore real quick, and then Try Sappho with Milani or something, because that does work quite well. Okay. Alright. Go back over this way. Lamp grass. I'll never need that again for anything. And you know what? Actually, let's see. And decent amount of one damage. But... Dia, advance. There we are. And that's how you mine. Well, actually, you mine with Zhongli, but that works too. Razor also does the trick. Okay. In that case, let's 
send in someone there. Should be good. So the team you run is for call. I think. Shionen, Dia, and then Sucrose, I think. Try that. Morning and first, then. Well, that's kind of tough. Shionen, and then. Sucrose to swirl that, and then. Dia for Pyro? Probably, yeah. Let's make this happen. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Though I would say that she would probably prefer Fab Grenade Sword here, though. Basically, no crit there. I. And we'll keep you on deep wooden sack. Because we still use it with Kinich. Okay. Should work well, but you want. Sack frags. Borrow that real quick. Okay. Let's make this happen. And we'll move on in. Slash, slash, and scroll that. Thank you. Move you around in one, two, three, and bite. Decent enough damage and hit. Thank you. And I mm, got some limits. Okay, cool. Thank you, and we'll... One, two, and we'll... Do it like that, and... Uh, hit you out of... Well, that didn't quite work. Couldn't get you stuck like that, and... Well, you're not taking too much damage, at least. And... Over there, and let's just use this, at least. And I... Uh, couldn't stop that, and it didn't even hit? What in the... Okay. Never mind. This is ridiculous. And I... Uh, move in, and I... Uh, okay, I... Uh, stupid, stupid, I... Uh, what?! How how was it I how didn't I break out? I hate this game. I I thought I'd be able to break. I didn't think she wouldn't have any hydro on her. Whatever. Try that again. This is a good team as long as Sappho doesn't move around too much. Main thing is I need to approach her from the side of the pillar because she starts the fight by basically dodging away. The main thing is to make sure that she doesn't get mixed up in the pillars and she is somewhat in the middle of the arena. Okay, and one, two, and thank you, and yeah, yeah. Thank you, one, two, three, bite, one, two, three, bite, one, two, three, bite. There we go, and now go ahead and do that. Not really my problem here. Okay. We will wait for the power to disappear and then send it. She will net again. Thank you. One, two, and then we. Well, never mind. Okay. Hit and then we. Thank you. And one, two, one, two, three. Got your bonus up. Nice. Good damage when we got that bonus. Hit and which way are we gonna go? I don't know. And hit and we got power on there. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Okay. Except it didn't hit. Annoying. Thank you. When are you gonna... Oh my goodness. Okay. Annoying. One, two, and super rose. Dia and I... Oh, come on, you. Don't use that attack, please. Hate that attack so much. And luckily, we're not taking that much damage, but it's still... Okay. Whatever. Whatever. Such an annoying attack. Thank you, and of course you're staying in there too. Okay, and one, two, and take that. Thanks, and one, two, three, and still hit me, annoying. I need healing now next this time. And another bite. Come on, make it a crit. And we try that again. And hope this hits you, and I. Okay, never mind. I. We need to heal up. Come on, heal up. Thank you, and... I'm gonna do that attack. We'll just dodge around until you stop. Of course, you can only do that so many times in a row, so we're okay, I guess. 
One, two, and then one, two, and spin, and one, two, that's gone at least, and I, wait, what? Never mind, I, really, that was literally the worst possible scenario. Wasn't hit with the initial power, and you can't even get it back up now. Legitimate hatred for you. And, and everything you stand for, dude. Thank you, and I, okay, there we kind of go, I, I'm not a, what? Well, that didn't kill me somehow. Okay. And we move back and swirl. And we. One, two. That. Hopefully, do something for me, but we're out of full guessing, which is not ideal at all. And a uh, wave momentum is hard to stand. And go on it. Just the missile not being able to hit. Period. Is. infuriating. The damage is real good in an ideal situation, but emphasis on ideal situation. Two and we'll scroll that and Pyro, there we are. There we are, these and Thank you, and two, three. We get hit. Yep, go get hit by that, and I Oh come on. I just Without any forgissing and no good way in here to get it back. The annoying thing is that. She doesn't automatically exit Shark State when she uses Burst, which she honestly should. It... There's no real reason for her not to. And it definitely caused some problems. Luckily, EM Burst is good. And finally, that took way too long. Well, at least we got four Golden Whistles out of that. That's real good. I guess that was kind of worth the trouble. I do like that one of the better ways to grind those mats is fight fun mini bosses. Okay, there we go. Another rainbow fairy. Cool. So I guess that's all for today. It went a little longer than expected, but that I'd say that's easily the best sort of intermediate Archon quest. So. Yes, that's all for today. Thank you very much, and yes, Santa Ragon.